This is the Say It Can't Gamer, and you are live with the MMA Home! Mixed Martial a You like to be a mixed martial Boom, 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 boom. No way. From the Queen Studios of New York. Pitbull vs. Sanchez Bellator. Reaction Live. Fuka Friday. The Points Game. The new MMA news song with the MMA. Oh. Fap. I have terrible news, Jesse. Tell me. My acumen's not here. I got to load up my acumen. Shame on you. Bellator. Fight Buddies. Patricio. Pitbull versus Emmanuel Sanchez. Happened already. I made the mistake of going online. And I found out who won the main event. I don't know who won the other fights on the main card. But Bellator is a big steaming pile of hot dog shit horse horse dick manure. shit dick shit horse dick shit what <laughs> it's so ridiculous how many people in the chat got their bellator experience ruined when i well listen it's not the greatest uh bellator card of all time mm -hmm. but still i mean we we're gonna react to this shit and i stumble across the main event outcome. What so, the fuck? It's so it's ridiculous. All right, so a heavyweight fight. You have a Karish versus. Who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that guy? You got Olga Rubin versus Cindy Randois. You got Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov. You have Haim Ghazali versus Ryan Couture. And you have Patricky Pitbull versus Emmanuel Sanchez. Where's Phil Davis? Did he? F oh, there he is. I saw him already. Okay, Davis versus Nemkov. There he is. I saw. I said his name. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Anyway, wonderful. how is it? This can't be the main. This can't be the uh, co-main event. What? Ryan Couture. Really? He's fucking horrific. Just because That's he has that last name. Thing to say. He's he's terrible. Versus Haim Gonzali. All right. Anyway, the card's about to begin. What we're going to do tonight is play the points game. The loser of the points game once again has to withstand. The chat roast. That's right. Tonight, yeah. I'm looking not to go two weeks in a row. I'm looking for Jesse to withstand the flames of the chat roast. So I need your help as much as possible tonight. So points to Mystic if you'd like me to win, or points to JBH if you'd like JBH to win. Jesse? Jesse? Are you pumped up for Fuka Friday? I'm always pumped up for Fuka Friday. <laughs> <laughs> ah yes. Ah, oh, one bad says the roast is a ripoff. One bad is like that dingleberry. He's a that salty you, fiend. You know, he's like the dingleberry that hangs off of your asshole. You know, <laughs> he's like he's like that little piece of shit that gets caught on your hair. He just kind of dingles around over there. He's the he's the dingleberry of the chat. But thank you for jumping back in uh, to our stream. I appreciate your support. All right, let's start the clock over here for the first fight on the main card. And here we go. I mean, yeah, we know the outcome of the main event, but let's just pay attention to this a little bit as we do the MMA news, we play the points game, and we have a lot of fun with you fooks tonight. It is Friday, <laughs> TGIF, friends. Do we have um, a surprise for the news? Mm. I did say it in the intro. There is a surprise for the news. Tonight, well, the Jesse song is retired. It is no more because we actually played the whole entire song the last time. Yeah. That's it. We I believe retired we it. did make comment about if we finish the entire song, then we would move on. Yeah. Well, and it, it has been finished. <laughs> it's done. It's over. It's a done deal. And now tonight 
we will debut the new new song. How pumped up are you in the chat? Drop the ones immediately. All right, we got two fat fucks in the cage right now. Let's look over here. And uh, who's fighting? Let's see. I think we got, uh, yeah, here we go. Koreshi versus uh, Sidlutnikov. <laughs> and that is in the first round. And we'll be looking at this. Uh, Kirill Sidlutnikov. Beautiful. That is a beautiful thing, right? It's beautiful. Yeah. All right, let's see yes. how this. Oh, cheers. Oh, you have all oh, faces, coffee faces over here. Wait, can we make there you go. Whoa, we got a finish. Wait. We got a finish over here. The first fight on the Bellator card. As it looks like Adam Koresh gets the win. Stopping the clock immediately. Putting the hands up in the air like you just don't care. He's running around the cage. And you don't care. You don't care. But I care. Let's see what happened over here. Right. Adam Koresh looks to go. It looks like he went 3-0. and He is a weird looking dude. He kicks his mouthpiece into the crowd. Kirill Sidolinikov loses. I want to see how he lost here. I looked down for two seconds. Adam Koresh on top of the cage. Arms in the air. Crowd's going wild. Where are they fighting? Jerusalem? Where are they? That they can't show this fucking thing live. Israel. All right, here we go. Let's see what happened here. A takedown by Kirill. Now they're showing... Oof! It was a head kick. Oh, my God. Left leg comes up high. Cracks Kirill. Kirill got back up and then boom, all oh. right. Lands on the face. Did the ref go? Wow, that kick. Solid and how about Kirill? Kick. He was still in it. Watching this right lands. He was fucked up. Mm. Ooh, whoa. What about that knee to the fucking That was an illegal knee, no? Was, wait, was his hand? Wait, wait, was his hands? Whoa. There was a knee that slipped in there. Did anyone see that knee? I mean, granted, the head kick and the right that came in were enough to do the work, but there was a knee that slipped in in, the, in between that exchange. Hmm. So, Adam, good thing he won because they have Bellator has his picture. The I don't know, Sean Hart, did you see that? It looked like there was a knee that slipped in. Now, we're not listening to the audio here, and of course, they're not going to show the replay again, so we'll probably never see that replay. Let me know in the chat. I saw nothing, nothing, says Drunk Savage. I'm coming to Queens, says one bed. You're already here. You're on my asshole, my dingleberry. Uh, let's see. Clocks. It's a tape delay. Yeah. If you're jumping in, Bellator, it sucks. Right? What? The, the fucking tape delay bullshit. Like, uh, we've, we've, I've ranted about it so many fucking times. What are we doing? Just show it live. Right? Fuck it. We'll do it live. What time was it here? We'll do it live. live. Fuck it. What? Well, what time was it here live? Like, I mean, all right, if it's in the morning or some shit, Four just show it. And then replay it, you know? Then replay it. So if someone wants to watch the replay, they can watch the replay. If someone wants to watch it live, we could probably do a live reaction at a bizarre time. I would do it. I would do it. But why watch a replay? Like, but nobody would watch it at a bizarre time. Even though you would do it, nobody would watch it. We have people from all over the world watching. Yeah, people would watch. Of course. We'd have less people watching at a bizarre time. I'm telling you this right now. Today. When it, whenever the fuck it was on, say mm -hmm. this morning or something like that, we could have done a fight buddies for that and yeah. then an exclusive food, food girl Friday tonight. We yeah. could add two shows instead of having to merge them in to one fucking swole show because Bellator can't get their shit together. We could have two swole shows. Come on, and Bellator. We, we could have hit the people in the, in the UX, the UKs, you know, we could have people all over the world watching Instead, yeah. now people are sleeping while we're watching a replay fight. Think about it. Just let that fucking sink into your little face. Wonderful, wonderful. He just said I had a little face. You do have a little face. All right, let's see what's going on in the chat. One bad says all that production and no viewers. Roberto Hernandez says he kicked him in the face. LOL falls down, knees his face, and hits him with the one hitter quitter. Gary Banjo Sandwich Worthington says do a UK time show. Yeah, Gary would tune in, right? That would be UK time over there. I mean, why the fuck? Like, it's ridiculous. Just show the show the fights live. Sports should not be on a tape delay. S any sport. I don't even give a fuck if it's table tennis. It should not be on a tape delay. It's ridiculous. You you can it's you have to stay off the internet the whole entire day so you don't know the outcome of the fights. Now, luckily, this card is a complete piece of uh, steaming shit, right? You got Phil Davis on it, which which you, we know who Phil is, and Ryan Couture is the son of a legend, and that's about it. Uh, Patricky Pickbull. Well, spoiler alert. He might have won. And uh, yeah, all right. So I I don't know. 
I'm back to the chat. Sean Hart says, a wonderful, wonderful one. Beth says, JBH looks Eastern European. Roberto says, replay fight. Sean Hart says, a live should be a must. Man Chapman says, ring girls on tape delay is mucho caliente. Stelio 2 says, we need a rant. Clock says, you know how great afternoon, weekday, live sports are. King Your Mother's Ring Hole says, all sports should be live, 100 agreed. It's There's no point in watching it. Like when I was a kid, right, I used to work crazy hours, like crazy, crazy hours. And I would have to record like the Giants, for instance, like the Giants. Um, if I missed a hockey game, I would, you know, I, I can't watch a replay of a hockey game. I love fucking hockey. I can't watch a replay of a basketball game. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Football, I've tried it a couple of times and I've forgot that it was on a tape delay. So football, I kind of could do it. But other sports, fast paced sports, I can't do it. MMA is a fast-paced sport, and if you, now with the age of social media, you have to stay off Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You have to stay off everything. So what do you do all day if you got to take a shit? What the fuck do you do, Jesse? What do you do? You can't look at your phone now. What do you do? Take selfies? It's a good question. What do you do? You got to open the, the newspaper? But I mean, it's, what, what happens? It's a good question, yeah. You got to stay off yeah. the internet. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the chat. Are you for, is anyone in the chat actually enjoy a tape delay for a sporting event? Let me know, yes or no. Yes or oh, no! 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 no. Stelio 2 says, free Palestine. Drunk Cyber says, Stelio 2, the Jews got to them. 90s Game Boy GATM says, sup, Fookers? Van Chipman says, real, real is greater than real, real. Piggy Bean says, what we go gon' do about this? Oh, uh, no. His heads are gonna roll. Chat. Got real, real coming in with the donation. The Islanders whooped the Rangers last night. That is true. Actually, wasn't it early? What was it? It was like 7 5 or some shit like that. Anyway, yeah. No points. No points over there. So no one gets the points. But he drops Meh. a huge five. Thank you for the donation. My boy's in there somewhere. No one's an Islander fan. Stop boy. it. You live in Florida. Shouldn't you be rooting for your Tampa gay lightning? Should you be rooting for them or something like that? <laughs> Instead, you're rooting for the Islanders. I'd rather be a Lightning fan than an Islander fan, right? I don't know. I don't watch hockey. You don't watch hockey. Get you know out. I don't Leave. watch hockey. Immediately. How dare you? Actually, I haven't watched hockey in a minute either. It's his responsibility to get me into certain sports, and he has yet to succeed at getting me into hockey. Mm. What's that about? I don't know. There's no way he's an Islander. Real, real, please tell me you're not an Islander fan. That is like, that's got to be the worst fan you can possibly be. Like, no one wants to be an Islander fan. The last time the Rangers won the cup, I they swept the Islanders. I want to be an Islander fan. Hmm? You trust me. Islanders, there's... The only thing that was good about the Islanders mm -hmm. is they had Nassau Coliseum. And I loved that little shithole. I loved it. Because you could sit up the nosebleeds and you can see great... You can have great tickets. It, those Anywhere you sit is fantastic. The best part about going to an Islander game while they're playing the Rangers is half the stadium is fucking Ranger fans. That's how bad. Like, the Islander fans don't even want to go to the games. And then they leave. They go into Brooklyn. They're like, we don't know where we want to play. It's just a shitty organization. Ah, uh, super real, real. chat. Loyalty. Something low IQ Ranger fans don't have. Yeah. Oh, shh, shh. Listen, it's not loyalty. It is not loyalty. You have an out, right? You move to Florida. Now you have a chance to reset, regroup, and leave that shitty team. The Islanders, they had that one dynasty where they won four championships in a row. And then other than that, it's been complete dog shit, mm. this franchise. Their best players leave. No one wants to play there. It's it's a dump. The dump organization. Why are we talking about hockey again? They're, well, I will real, real donated. So that's over. And it's Fuko Friday. And Bellator is on a tape replay. I want to hear the, the new new song. You want to hear? Oh, you want to hear the new new song. Ooh, should we play... The new, new song. Yeah. I think we should let them wait. I think we well, should wait. We have two hours to occupy. Mm-hmm. We do. We can do it anything we want tonight. Because it is Fuku or Friday. So we can do whatever the fuck we want. Do you want to hear the news? The new, new song. Do you want to hear the news? Because we have some good, swole, sexy stories tonight on Fuku or Friday. This is the card that we're reacting to. Uh, first fight, quick finish. Adam gets the win. Move on to the ladies. Cindy Dendois versus Olga. Ruben is the next fight. Olga. But I, I, 
I know who wins the main event, and it, it just fucking infuriates me. Should we just, like, spoiler alert, go no, to Tapology no, and just I run through the... No, no, no. Don't do it. Mm. Don't you dare. Or this will be a waste of time. <laughs> Stelio 2 says Wayne Gretzky is a cuck. I have a fun fact. Wayne, Gre- Wayne Gretzky was a ranger, and I had the pleasure of being at Wayne Gretzky's last game ever. Ever. At Madison Square Garden. I was there for it. I was in the seats. Really? That's true. It's a true story. True, sto- true story. Uh, now, nah, this show is amazing visually and emotionally. It says two joints. That's right. Wonderful, wonderful. He's, a, he's, he's completely correct, right? He's, he's a correct human being. Jess, what else is up in that chat? Paul Hart says, what's up, JBH Mystic? I'm Sean Hart's bro. Been fucked up for a minute, but I'm back. Welcome back, Paul Hart. Yo. Wonderful, wonderful. Two joints. Oh, I already read, or you read two joints. Roberto says, any gotsa fighters? Gaza fighters. Any Gaza? Uh, Gaza? Like uh, from the Gaza Strip? Uh, where are they fighting? Where is this Bellator? Israel. Is it really Israel? Yeah. Okay. So Tel that's Aviv, the... Israel. All right. That sounds like a great place to be holding an event, right? Tel Aviv. Man, Bellator, I got to say, they're all over the place. They're, they are everywhere. So credit to the Bellator getting a lot of eyeballs on their organization. I like yeah. the fact that they go all over the place. Just show the goddamn things live for us. Right? Right. For fuke's sake. Yeah. Vlad. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to the Most High Allah and Bellator for holding an event in Prophet Muhammad's home. That knee may have been illegal depending on the rules. Mm. They That's... vary from state to state, country, whether one or two hands is a grounded fighter. PTS most. Well, Shocker. A hand well, I'm just, it has completely flipped the script. Have you noticed this? <laughs> we'll just put two points in my direction over here. Ah, uh, super chat. Pulse resurrected. Muggsy Bows would whoop Mark Messier. <laughs> Muggsy Bogues would whoop Mark Messier. Uh, not on skates. On skates, it's a fair fight. All right. Here's another fight that's about to get going over here. Wait, wait, wait. It's not the ladies. Who do we got? All right. So this is the next one. Vadim Nemkov versus Phil Davis. Thank you, Pulse Resurrected and Vlad for the donations. Vlad, the only one putting the points in the box. Now, Jesse, go ahead. Say What's what you have in to, the box? Say what you have to say to Vlad. No, I'm just saying Vlad has completely flipped the script. He, he used to... Uh, donate to me all the time and then he went starting to stray to you making it a little clear I see what you did there what? making it a little clear that he was flipping and then all of a sudden just flopped and it's like now Vlad wants something I don't know what I did wrong to Vlad Vlad used to be my best friend and now it's like well Vlad I mean he's he a nice he's a nice guy he's been around for a minute now right we can consider him an OG he's he's one of the patrons yeah He's a he's a, a swole, sexy supporter of the show. He's constantly in this chat supporting us there as well. Mm. But he's one of the boys, Jesse. Hey, with the boys. He's one of the boys. Right now, two zip. Jesse, you're getting roasted tonight. I hate to break it to you. Tonight, you faced the chat roast. You faced these motherfuckers. They are going to light you on fire as I tap this. And we're going to put it on Instagram. How do you feel about that? I'll always be your friend too, two joints. Now, there's a thing between Pulse and Vlad. There's a little a little heat between the two of them. I've, so I've heard. What's going on here? Because I'm not fully... I know like you know a little more than I do, but I am actually, honest truth, am not up to date on what is going on with Pulse and Vlad. Well, I have to say this. I'm team Vlad. Pulse, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Well, that doesn't surprise me, though, because you Why? have like some weird animosity. You and Pulse have animosity with no, him. No, I don't have an animosity with him. I like Pulse because he's black. If he was white, I would dislike him immediately. But because he's black, I have a little bit of a likeness for him. I don't know what it is. If he was a white guy saying half the shit he said, I'd be like, ah, I don't like him. What, is he, what did Pulse do? No, he didn't do anything. So why? What's, I'm not sure what's what, going which on? Pulse we're talking about, though. There's two different Pulses. The Pulse, whichever Pulse is there's going head to head with black. There's a resurrected, there's a circumcised po- a Pulse, there's a um, crucified Pulse. I don't know, there's a bunch of different reborn. Pulses. There's a reborn Pulse. There's a up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start, pulse. There's all the whole bunch of them. But I like pulse. I like all these motherfuckers. I don't know why. Even one bed. Even the Dingleberry Eagles fan in the chat. Mm. Hey, he's all right. He's all right. In my book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sean gave me uh, one of the wristbands you sent him. 
with both sport him with pride. We both sport him with pride. Okay, good. There, there we go. Look at that. Paul Hart over there rocking the wristband as well. What do you think about that? Wonderful, wonderful. Shout out to Kevin Costa. Kevin Costa rocking the MMA Holes t-shirt. We can't pull it up over here. Why on Instagram can we not pull up like private messages? What, what is that about? Um, You can't do it on a desktop. Mm. You know what, Jess? Did you, if you can do us a favor, mm -hmm. maybe from your phone, if you can throw it over to the message board. Sure. And we can show. Wait, I don't know. You can't stop this at being expressed. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo yeah. motherfuckers. Choo choo real. motherfuckers. It's coming in. Hmm. PTSJBH. Yes. I'd never donate to Ranger Trash. <laughs> My Twitter fans beg MMA holes to have special. Real, real intro song is weekly call and guest. Mm. Why would you want to disappoint the fans? Don't disappoint the fans worse than Woodley will after Colby melts him. By the way, that fight That's looks right, like it's... Yeah, Thank you for the donation. Points to JBH over there. That that fight does look like it's happening. Uh, Colby versus uh, Woodley. So what am I... There's a DM over there. He sent a picture with his shirt. Just save it and throw it on to the MMAholes.com. Do we have permission from Kevin Costa? Yeah, fuck it. We do whatever we want over here. His wonderful, wonderful shirt. We'll throw it on the MMAholes.com and he'll be a goddamn celebrity immediately. A goddamn celebrity. All right. Thank you for the donation. And listen, real, real. First of all, no one wants to give you a song. I hate to break it to you. You're very supportive of the show, so we do appreciate that. You had a nice phone call with us the last time. But no one cares about a real, real song. You got to make the people care. And no one cares. So stop it. Now about the Islanders. It explains everything. It explains everything. 39 likes, 20 likes. 20 likes, 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes, 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. 20 likes, 20 likes. I've got fucking 20 likes. I hope the dislikes die of leprosy. Now here's the thing. Colby Covington is growing on me. He is growing on me like a rash. Yeah. I like his shtick. Even though he's cringy, I like the fact that he's backing it up. So Colby Covington's growing on me. In fact, his social media, the guy says some funny shit. It's all a shtick. I get what he's doing. He's trying to sell a fight. So kudos to Colby Covington. If anyone thinks that Colby Covington's going to beat Tyron Woodley, they are smoking some serious crack. Like, I don't see there's any way that happening. Now, we did say before that Tyron Woodley seems to be ducking Colby a little bit. But it doesn't look like that's happening. It looks like the UFC is going to be making this fight happen. The belts will unify. And, well, was Colby even stripped? I don't know. That's weird how Till jumped the line. But anyway, they're fighting. And we're going to find out who the true Make America Great Again champion is. Tyron Woodley or Colby Covington. I would rather see Colby as the champ because it would be funny. It would be better for ratings for us. But Tyron Woodley is going to smoke him. It's that simple. And then what does Real Real do? What does he do? He's got Daniel Cormier. Yeah. Daniel, Daniel Cormier's going nowhere. By the way, we are watching Bellator 209. I'm getting Kevin Costa's picture up right now, guys. Nice. Bellator 209, Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov is in the first round. We have a clock up top over there. And let's watch it. Davis has the red gloves. Nice body kick. Vadim Nemkov has the blue gloves. Oof. And over the top right comes in by Phil Davis. We are playing the points games tonight, and tonight we will be debuting our new news song. The Jesse Read Us. The, the news is gone. It is gone. Oh, Jesse. Rest in peace. Are you going to miss the new Jesse song? Let us know in the chat. Uh, one thing um, I don't like about Bellator is the camera. The camera guy must be drunk. Says Ty Bear. Um, yeah, Belt, well, it, it's weird. They're, I think the cameraman's probably afraid for his life because of where they're having this event, so maybe that's what it is. Possible? I don't know. Uh, the, the cage also looks very bright, too, as well. Leg kick by Phil Davis. Nemkov standing his ground. He ate his hardest shot, and Nemkov is not fearing Davis. Nemkov 9-2-0, the 6-foot-tall 205-er. Trying to go at it with Phil Davis, a former UFC fighter. Phil Davis seems to be doing all right in Bellator. No miss, says Vigo. Yes, is Michael Anzalone. Michael's going to miss it. 
Uh, getting rid of the song is the best thing that ever happened to the show is Vigo. Listen, we fucking, we, we, we constantly change over here. We're always changing. We're, we're always evolving. And because we heard the full song, we got rid of it. That's it. Now we have a new song. Nice right comes in by Nemkov. I have problems with Phil Davis because there's been a lot of fights. I mean, he's won some big ones, right? Yeah. A champion. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes he's fucking boring as all hell. I watched a fight with Phil Davis. Uh, I forgot who he was fighting. Trust me, Drunk Savage. Something better is coming along. Yeah. I, um, I watched it with Luke Thomas. How about that? Fun fact. Me and Luke Thomas watched a Phil Davis fight together. We jerked each other off. Yeah? Yeah, it was great. I came all over his beard. 20 likes. 20 likes. 40 likes. 40 likes. 40 likes. 20 likes. Listen to Sean Hart and like this shite. All right. Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov, round one. We'll do the news after this fight. How long are we going to wait for the freaking news? Well, shut up. We'll Any other book off Friday, we would normally wait. I mean, we would normally already be into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, new sponsor, JBH. You do wear the sponsor pants in the relationship. You think so, but if, if you were a fly on the wall for a day oh. in this house... You would see who really wears the pants in this relationship. How many people in the chat? How many people in the chat are actually watching the Bellator fight? Let us know yes or no. We will be going into the MMA news in a second. We are watching Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov in the first round with 1054. Three left. Nemkov looking pretty good. Uh oh, someone's slapping Chris Cyborg. It's Rowdy Rodent. Holy shit! Look out! Let's slap a hoe! I really need to slap. I, I really, really need, need to slap right, right now. I really need to slap. Yes! I really need to slap right now. Chris Cyborg needs to slap. Chris Cyborg needs to slap right now. Please go slap in the face. I need to slap in my face right now. Bringing back the cyborg donation. Friday right, right. with the MMA holes. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Points for Mystic and a joint for me. Yes, Ackerman. Jesse. No. Hey. 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 Oh my God, hey. Jesse. Hey. Hey. Take that. Hey. The Rowdy Rodent coming in. 17 for Mystic. What do you say about that, Jesse? Nah. Psst. 17 to number two. Haven't seen Psst. Chris Cyborg be slapped in, in a minute. It was good to see Chris being slapped, though, right? Psst. Thank you. Rowdy Rodent with the donation coming in. Thank you very much. The first round is done of Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov. And uh, uh, who got the first round? What do you think, Jess? Well, think about it. Mark it! Step this again and excuse Choo choo! Choo choo, motherfuckers! Choo choo, motherfuckers! Choo choo, motherfuckers! I've been all fucked up lately. Have not been around tonight. We ride. We ride! I'm hooking up a car Ambino L7 solo barrack kicker sub to my Xbox power brick for power. Nice. nice. Wifey's gonna love this. Points JBH love. Ya, yeah, Chris. Dilly Dilly Beer Mugs. Yes! What? Thank you so much, Marky. What? Unbelievable stuff here. Jesse. Yes. Whoa, Chat Rose is there. <laughs> Jesse, what do you yes. think? Thank you, Marky. Marky yes. Wahoo with the points to the JBH. Just hold that face. Is that the uh, point? The new, that's the uh, points face from last time. Dropping three over there. All right, here we go. Let's give you a three right there. Five points for JBH. All right, round two is about to get going. Thank you very much, Marky, and everyone that's playing along tonight on Fugar Friday. The points game, it's 17 to 5. The loser has to face. Face. The Chat Roast. The Chat Roast. All right, so. so 
<laughs> so Phil Davis comes out of the corner and they are, are toweling him down. It looks like they dumped water all over him. He did his Yol Romero impression. He is soaked. Even with them toweling him down, he's drenched, glistening. Because he's probably all oiled up. Wow. Phil Davis. Even with the towel. What did that towel do? It looked like it put more water on him. <coughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Nemkov in the first round. I'm gonna go Nemkov. My boy is in the chat. My boy. <laughs> uh oh. Unite. I need help tonight because Jesse's boy's in the chat, so be careful. Be careful right now. Chris is in trouble now. Enter the <laughs> Don't be salty, drunk savage. Don't you get salty in there. Yeah, see, the brightness is up. The brightness is all fucked up. Meh. We look like ghosts. Looks like, it looks fine. Why is the brightness like this? What the fuck? You know, I'm not going to ask you questions anymore. Like, I think it looks fine. If I come outside and I say, does the blue dress look nice on me or the red dress? You'd be like, they both look great. Meanwhile, my dick is hanging out of one of the dresses. You're not going <laughs> to give a shit. I'm looking at it right now, and, and it looks like we're blown out. I think it looks fine. We're all white. I look like I'm sick. I think it looks all right, I gotta fix that next stream. You albino bastard. Yeah, I know we look. I'm like, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, all right, well then fix it now. If it's that, well, no, it's it gonna take forever. It Should not, I fix it now? Yeah, if you want. If you think it needs to be fixed. I I thought it needs to be fixed before. I we're don't alive. think it needs to be fixed. Look at it over there. We both look like fucking ghosts. We, we look at us. Meh. <laughs> it looks we're fine. like vampires. <laughs> 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 right? What the fuck? Fix it. No. All right, well, don't complain then. <laughs> I'm complaining because my dick is hanging out of my dress. Drunk Savage says, Oh, Moss, you look pretty, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. We pride ourselves <coughs> on our appearance over here. Well, not physical appearance, but actual, you know, show appearance. And Robert says that we look yeah. fine. Okay. White power look. I know. It looks like we might as well just put fucking white cloaks on ourselves. Oh, right? stop it. And hang black people be <laughs> behind us, right? Is that what we should do right now? <laughs> yeah. Good job, Jesse. Racist. <laughs> what? How did you get that out of this? <laughs> My phone's going off. By the way, we have a, a Facebook account now, a personal Facebook account. So we had a business one, and now we have a personal Facebook account so we can actually talk to everyone instead of just having the business thing. So check you that out. Shoot, 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 motherfuckers. Shoot, shoot, motherfuckers. Shoot, shoot, motherfuckers. What was your phone? Oh. At least I called in the show. We all know the old worthless alcoholic drunk savage and Ooh. the self-hating midget you coping Staley are both too scared to call in. Not to mention that broke closeted retard king your mother syringe hole. Get <laughs> on my level. Wow. Those real, are... real calling some people out right now. Shots, shots some are fired. Some real fire. OGs actually. You, you got some nerve real real. That, that, is, that is unbelievable. Jesse, I need you yeah. to entertain the troops. <laughs> Thank you for the donation because here's the deal. I, I'm gonna fix this. I can't. I can't look at this anymore. Okay. This is well, ridiculous. I think. So. All right, hold on. Let's put some. I don't know. I can't fucking see. All right, we're gonna do this. Mm. Let me try this. Hold on. Uh, sing us a song. Sing a song. A song. Uh, can I rap? Can I rap? Rap God? Can no, I, no. Hold on. There's I, music playing right now. Do I have time now to rap? Rap God. No one cares about rap God. How about you rap something else? I will rap Rap God, and you have to oh. be done by the time I'm done. Oh, my God. All right, good. But for me to rap like a computer must be in my jeans. I got a laptop in my back pocket. My pen will go off when I have cock. I got a fat knot from that rap profit. Made a living in a killing outfit. Ever since Bill Clinton was still in office. With Monica Lewinsky filling on his nutsack. I'm an MC, still is honest. But as rude and as indecent as all hell. Syllable skill hall. I kill them all with it. This flippity dippity hippity hip hop. You don't really want to get into a pissy match with this. Why did you put it on me? Who are you rapping? Why? 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 Oh, here we go. Vlad is getting upset. You're not going to win Vlad's love with Rap God. I don't. I've lost Vlad's love already. What? <laughs> Maybe he was Team Jesse until Rap God came about. And then he's like, I'm not Team Jesse anymore. <gasps> Maybe the Rap God swayed him over to the cock side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Maybe. All right. Shock of Phil Davis versus Vadim Nemkov is still going on here in the second round. Probably a decision. Thank you, Piggy right? My speed is excellent. Speed is excellent. Yeah, Piggy likes the speed. Ask Moss if that was me, uh, real, real, what the fuck, LOL. Um, what, what's going on? What did what? I miss? Real, real is keeping it real. JBH, go to song, block your ears. Uh, real, real, what the fuck, LOL, ask Moss if that was me. Thanks for the shirt and wristband, guys. Love it. You're welcome. Oh, Kusa. shit. Phil Davis gets thrown down, tossed down 
by Vadim Nemkov. Nemkov around the waist, kneeing to the thighs. Davis is trying to get him off. More knees by Nemkov. Davis is <laughs> another trip. Nemkov solidifying around to me. Second round is done. How about this? Phil Davis. Got his hands full. Phil Davis. Phil Philip Davis. All right. What have we got going on over there, Jess? Nice. You fixed it. Well, it's 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 lesbian. You can't stop the Choo -choo. Chicken Express. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. The New York snowstorm is really hurting business for the Bell Boulevard hookers. I'm a huge fan of Real Real. He should be a special guest caller. Even Anne H wants it. Oh no. So now what what is going on here, Jesse? Does this he said mean the New York Yeah, but no, hold on. Snowstorm. Well that clearly wasn't Vlad. So Real Real just made a Vlad account now. Or maybe it was Vlad. No, that was not Vlad. Or maybe it was no. Uh, <laughs> look at Vlad in the chat. Here we go. Now we're all over the place. Now we have. <laughs> we don't know who's donating anymore. That shit is cray cray. The donations have gone haywire. We don't know who is who anymore. Jesse, this is a this is a mystery tonight. It's like it's like Clue, right? It's like who killed someone in the fucking living room with the candlestick and the fucking butt plug? Who did it? Jesse, we don't know. Plug. That was clearly real, real, no? Uh, no. He reeked of an Islander fan. Maybe it was Harvey. <laughs> Everyone's Vlad. He's like Negan now. All right, let's see what the chat says. Michael Chapman says, I'm an H. Vanda Shipman says, the autism is real. <laughs> it sure is. Marky Wahoo says, you know you made it when people fake your profile names. Vlad says, for Allah's sake... One bad says I'm Vlad. Marky Wahoo says it's Bane. One bad says I'm real, real. STS nine glasses, deuce buffer. King your mother's ring says Van Shipman. Patty Brady says good night, people. Good night, Patty Brady. Good night, Patty. Have a good one. All right, third round. I think Davis is down two to zip. Going into the third over here. Let's see if he can get some work done as uh, Vadim Nemkov looking good. Nice right comes in by Davis. Leg kick by Davis. We aren't paying as much as attention as we should be. That's because Bellator is on a tape delay and we're distracted. Always look in looking at self says every time I come on here, you guys aren't talking about MMA. You're talking about other shit. Who said that? Always looking at self. All right. So just, you know what? Do me a favor. Always looking at self. This is what I need you to Keep do. Keep looking at yourself. I need you to prop yourself in front of a mirror. Okay. I need you to put on the, the nicest makeup you have, all right? Do some maybe guy liner, some <laughs> nice lipstick, right? Nice uh, right by Phil Davis. And then what I want you to do is look at yourself and always do it. <laughs> all right. All right, so I think Phil, Phil Davis is <laughs> glistening, Jesse. Look at him. He's all shiny. So glistening. It's like they put an armor roll over him. Nice left comes in by Nemkov. A right by Davis. Davis hunting now in the third round. You can tell Davis has a sense of urgency. They're probably like, bro, you're losing a fight. Nemcom versus Davis. Bellator. We got Bellator 209 going down. Uh, good night, my night. Just starting says Paul Hart. There you go. Yeah. The elf on the shelf made the donations is Glenn. <laughs> what? Yeah. How many people got elves on the shelves going on? I should get you an elf on the shelf, right? Would that make you behave? Well, the gorilla, the green gorilla or whatever it was in the chat did call me your daughter. He said, your daughter is acting up, Chris. Mm. So maybe you should get me an elf on the shelf. Well, the green gorilla is, is suspect. Is a little suspect in the chat. You know, it's time when Bruce, the deuce buffer says so. It says, uh, what is this? STS and a uh, nine glass. Phil Davis trying to get the job done here in the third round. Nemkov looking to spoil the party. How about Waldo in the crowd? You see that, Jesse? Where's Waldo? Is in Waldo. the crowd. Where is Waldo? Oh, I yeah, see Waldo. Is. He's there. Nice. Is that a chick? Oh, no, no that's a, a guy with suspenders and a Waldo no, shirt. No, he has a backpack, it looks like. You backpack. sure? That, yeah. How is he sitting down if he has a backpack? I could sit with a backpack. Oh, a nice right by Nemkov. Nemkov looks pretty good. I think Nemkov is going to go 10-2-0, Jesse, with some jabs You think in. so? I think so. You think so? Uh, Roddy Rodent wants me to spank you. I'm spanking you right now in the points game, 17 to 5, Jesse. <laughs> Stand by because we're going to debut the new MMA news song. 
because the other one is retired. Now, as we watch the last two minutes of this fight, do, would you like to sing the Jesse's News song, the old one? Jesse! Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold that thought. Phil Davis gets the takedown, side control. Can he get the work done here? Now, he is dangerous on the floor. Has a knee in the sternum of Nemkov. Nemkov in serious shit right now. Davis up super high, looking to finish the fight of a tape replay. Read us the news. Oh, shit. Davis might CBD. get it done here, cranking the arm. Davis looking CBD. for the finish. CBD. CBD. Back to the CBD. beach. CBD. Drunk CBD. Savage CBD. with the 420. CBD. 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 It helps with uh, healing process and uh, inflammation and stuff like that. So you wanted to get these for Nigga, that before or after fire training and make your life a better place. All right. Drunk Savage. How about the MMA holes have John got on air for an interview? Then allow Real Real to make Super Chats donations. Most might have a heart attack. I'm also a big fan of Real Real. We want him as a special guest with MMA Hole Music. <laughs> PTSJBH. Jesse with the points. Look at that. Real Real is on your side yes! tonight. Yes! Jesse, yes, what do you feel? All right, moving up the rankings is Jesse with the nine points over there. Thank you. Whoops. Thank you, Real Real, for the donation. Nine to 17. Nine to 17. Uh, read it, JBH. Don't worry about nothing. Just start reading, says Sean Hart. Oh, trust me. You want me to wait. Phil Davis on the ground again. Now a mount trying to crank the arm of Nemkov. Now, this is interesting because we got some close rounds. Phil Davis is dominating the end of this third round. Maybe he... Comes away with a win here. I'm curious to what hear the decision. Say? News time? I want to hear this. I, I know you have zero interest in this Bellator card. I do have no. interest. Don't, yeah. don't say things no, like I, that. Well, you gotta get the results. I do have interest, but well, well, you can't we start said the news. news last time. Yeah, I know. We got to get the results of the fight. It's a decision. I'm so excited for my new song. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Be patient. Be patient, young one. All right. Who won? Davis ending strong in the third round. Oh, so that's you. What? You can't what? stop the Siberian Express. Choose you, Choose you, motherfuckers. Choose you, motherfuckers. Choose you, motherfuckers. I think it's... We don't have headphones. What do you think about the Nick versus Mass Fidel matchup? Points most. Well, we hashtag have that in the news. And thank you for the points. Good question gate. over there. Wonderful, wonderful. For the boys. Thank you. 19 to 9 over there. We're going to be talking about that. That is a story in the news. Nick Diaz versus Masvidal. Black coming in again. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Real, real, a.k.a. Tony has the biggest D I've ever seen. It's so huge, OMG. I don't know if my fat Hispanic booty could take it. Hmm. Hee hee, I'm a naughty little boy. <laughs> well, wow, that was weird. That was weird, Vlad. I'm a little weirded out. Donation one after another right there. Crazy. How did they pull that off? It's nuts. Do you think that was really Vlad? <laughs> By the way, I'm hearing rumors that Real Real is in fact not Tony. I hear that he is actually taking credit for Tony, but yet there's another person that is Tony. And Real Real is just jumping in on the tail Let, I want to guess. Can I guess? Mm hmm What do you guess what? Can I guess who it is? Well, I don't know. I don't know, nor do I care, to be honest. I'm, but it is funny. I, I bet I know who. The theories and the debunking of saying that people saying that Real Real is not, in fact, Tony. It's someone else that came in. So there's a lot of people are saying who Real Real is, who Tony is. We don't know who anyone is. So wait, what is your guess? Is it Steve Johnson? No, Steve Johnson's on vacation, I think. Yeah, and Steve Johnson don't donate. He don't do that. He did before. He did like once or twice. Real Real is a big player, or Tony, or whoever the fuck that you know they are. They these people, they you know, not Steve Johnson don't donate. Steve Johnson's so smart that he just <laughs> follows the place of the planet. Has multiple personalities in the chat and doesn't donate. I, I have no idea. <laughs> Honestly, right. listen, Steve Johnson, I don't know where he is right now. 
but um, it's a lot more calm in the chat. <laughs> I gotta say, it's less autistic. It's weird. Like when Steve's in the chat, it gets so ridiculous. No more gay agent or like, big dummy. It's just dummy. so bizarre. Like yeah. I can't even read the chat half the time because I don't even know what the fuck's going on anymore. It's just <laughs> like the weirdest shit. But without him here, it's like we can actually have a conversation. So I don't know. It's weird. Steve. What are you trying to say, Chris? I hope you come back. But come, could you come you? back as one person so you don't talk to yourself in multiple times? All right, here we go. Let's see the results of the fight over here. I don't. They might give this to Davis. I think Nemkov had the first two rounds, but it was real close. Let's see. All right, we got a split decision coming in. Man, 29, 28 both ways. Ah, oh, super chat. Nemkov getting the win. Let real, real call in, you coons. <laughs> Let real, real call in, coons. Uh, tonight, I don't know, we might take phone calls after the points game tonight. We might do that. But we do have a fight reaction tomorrow as well for uh, UFC Fight Night. Jesse, you pumped up for another UFC fight night? Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Magni versus Ponzinibbio. That's right, on the new UFC website over here. So, yeah, uh, we, got a, we got a swole show. We have news. And if you're just jumping in, Phil Davis loses a split decision. It was closer because the end. I mean, Phil ended very strong in that third round, but Nemkov gets the win. I believe that's the right decision. Jess, I know you weren't paying too much attention, but... What are your thoughts? Do you think Nemkov deserved the win? Affirmative. <laughs> no fucks given. All right, 91 people watching. 53 likes. Four people dying of leprosy. We are sort of reacting to Bellator 209. It's tough to do because Bellator put this on a tape delay. So fuck Bellator. Up the asshole. Firmly up the asshole. Thank you for playing the points game. If you'd like to play along, say points to Mystic or points to JBH. The person with the least amount of points tonight has to face the chat roast. That means you inside this phone roast myself or JBH. Last week I lost. I got roasted. Will I lose two in a row or will JBH be roasted for the first time? Stay tuned. Jesse, now is the time. Finally. Finally. Now is the time. I'm so stoked. Are Just you play. ready? Just play. Chat room. Just play. Are you ready? For the new, new song. The other one's gone, but not forgotten. Would you like to sing it, Jesse? I would like you to play it right now. Sing the old one. Jesse, read us the news. Oh, Jesse, I want the MMA news. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. You ready, Jesse? Yes. Let's do it. It's time for the new news song. Jesse, you ready to read the news? Time to fat the news back. Time to fat the news back. Let's go. Time to fat the news back. Fat. Time to fat the news back. Time to fat the news back. Time to fat the news back. Oh, super oh. chat. Super chat. Kevin Costa coming in. Points to my girl, JBH. Yes! Thanks for the dope shirt. My boy! It's my boy! Whoa. It's my boy! It's my boy, Kevin Costa! My the boy. 69 points ah. super chat. Holy shit, Jesse! Thank you, Kevin Costa! Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Kevin Costa coming in strong, giving 79 points to JBH. Oh, now it's 79. Wow. I'm in deep shit. I need help. Ah, shut the hell up. What? One bed. How dare you? To one bed. You stop it, one bed. How dare you? 79 to 19. I am not upset 
The thing I am upset about is your song got interrupted. Jesse, what is in the news? Wait, we can't play it again? Nope. That's how it works. You cannot hear the whole song. <laughs> if the, it gets interrupted. The MMA whore has spoken. Okay. All right. According to MMA News, Nick Diaz reportedly set for UFC return in March 2019, but we've all sort of heard of that, about this. Sources informed ESPN's Brett Okamoto that Diaz has agreed to a bout with Jorge Masvidal. Jorge. The bout would take place inside the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, on March 2nd. It's important to note that bout agreements have not been signed. Masvidal recently claimed that the UFC offered him a bout with Diaz. This is what Gamebred said to ESPN. He said, quote, the UFC offered us Nick Diaz, and obviously we said yes. I would have loved to fight Nate, too, just because those guys are studs, man. All will. They don't have the most skills in the division, but they have maybe the most will. You can beat the shit out of them. Pain, fatigue, it doesn't matter. And I've got a lot of the same, those same qualities. My fan base knows I'm going in there to die trying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nick Diaz comes back, fights Masvidal. And I think it's a good matchup over there, a Nick versus Masvidal. How do you judge what kind of Nick Diaz is going to come back? It's almost impossible to pick here because we really don't know what Nick Diaz will be coming back to the UFC. I don't care about Nick Diaz coming back to the UFC. I really don't give two fucks Mm -hmm. about him coming back. It's like, you know what? It's been too long. And your last fight against Anderson Silva, was it was so hard to watch. That I mean, it, it was just ridic- it was a terrible fight with him laying on the floor and Anderson. It's just bizarre, bizarre fight over there. But he is coming back and he's fighting Masvidal. Mm-hmm. If this is vintage Nick Diaz, I go Nick Diaz all day over Masvidal. But Masvidal, who hasn't been in the cage much as well, I don't know. It's a toss up, Jesse. It is a toss up. What do you say? Um, I think I'm, I'm kind of on the same page as you. I'm not really interested. I mean, I am interested in Nick Diaz coming back. It's just not like ah. With Jorge Masvidal, so yeah. <laughs> drunk savages will be on the edge of our seats when he <laughs> fights. I mean, that last fight against Anderson Silva was so bad, I gave up. I, I completely gave up. And then what? Four years outside of the game, suspended. And why is this? Wow, this thing's really, really creaky. I got a WD forty. This thing. Anyway, Couture, Ryan Couture, seven wins by knockout or submission, is entering the cage. We can react to this over here. Ryan Couture, a little bit of a disappointment in Bellator is here and we'll lightly react to that as well. Let me know in the chat what you think. Masvidal or Nick Diaz. <sighs> Kevin Costa says, talking about ring rust. Internal says overrated. Hell yeah, I'm with JBH. I'll watch, but meh, says Boss Kogar. Two joint says, is smoking some orange kush, brother. And he says, Pulse, I took a little break. Scotch, very strong for this old person. LOL. Real, Aww, real. super Real, real chat. coming in. Both Diaz brothers are bums. Colby smashes them. No point. Colby, now real, real. Listen, let's make a truce. Let's make a truce, real, real. I need you to do points to Mystic because right now Kevin Costa has taken over the game. I need help. I need the MMA holes to unite. If you enjoy this shite show, well, points to Mystic immediately so we can roast Jesse or roast me if I lose again. God damn it, Kevin Costa. God damn it. Nick Lyle says, Kobe, oh, Kobe, hold on to people for dear life. Liam Doug says, Masvidal and Diaz will be a close fight. Roberto Hernandez says, Kobe smashes your mom. Internal says, bums. Mike Lanzalone says, how do I promote your channel on Facebook? I have options, but I don't know what to do. This is my first time doing something like this. Any advice? Okay, so I, I noticed Michael Anzalone has a, uh, man, Michael Anzalone, his YouTube channel and his Facebook channel, he's devoted to the best of the uh, MMA holes. So much respect to Michael Anzalone over there. It's crazy that he actually takes time out of his That's day awesome. to clip our, our videos. So awesome stuff. Michael Anzalone is wonderful, 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 wonderful. The best thing to do is to just basically take the link and just pin it somewhere. So on Facebook... Or you could put it in your about section over there. You could just put the MMA Holes, our YouTube channel, or the MMAholes.com and just take the link and just put it in your about section. By the way, what is happening in Bellator? There is a little singing entrance. What the fuck is this? What is this, Mark Anthony? What the fuck? There's some fucking... It's an Egyptian... I feel uh, like a snake is going to come Israeli out of a bucket. Israeli entrance. Or basket. What the fuck? All right, hold on. This is the fight that we're about to watch over here. Not this one. 
this one here. Hayam Gonzalez coming in, and clearly he is the hometown favorite over here with the Israeli stars on his hat as he's touching the gloves. The crowd is going wild, and they're playing like like a, like a I don't know, it's like a John Israeli John Tesh or some shit. What was that? Or an Israeli Mark Anthony. What was that? Now this guy's got, he's, man, this, you can tell this guy is a dangerous motherfucker. He's 8-5-0, oh, but look at him, Jesse. He looks... He doesn't look that dangerous to me. He just looks what? like a fucking... He looks like a psychopath. What, he looks what, like you a scumbag. Me? He looks like a scumbag. Yeah, he looks like one of those people who think they're better than everybody else. He you looks know? like he should be working at one of those stores in Manhattan where they sell electronics that are so ha! outdated. Nailed it! Like the Zohan? Nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> we got black coming in. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, oh, motherfuckers. Black coming in with the donation. Let's go, Hyman Gonzalez. Yeah. Points most. Here we go. All right, the comeback. Let's go. It's time for the comeback. 21 points. We're going to get one of the most epic comebacks of all time, and I cannot do it without you. So help, please, immediately. 45 years old is Haim Gonzalez, a Gazali versus a 36 year old Ryan Couture. Wow. Talk about a can fight if I've ever uh, seen one. Real, real coming chef. in with a donation. Thoughts on Cron Gracie going to UFC? We'll talk PTS about it. JBH. Oh, JBH Thank points. You real, 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 real. Right. 81 to JBH. I am not. We're going to talk about it. I'm we'll not talk scared. about it. I'm not scared right now. We're gonna, yeah, we will be talking about that in the news. This is what I'm going to do. By the way, spoiler alert. Do you, let me know. Should we just spoil the main event? No. <laughs> you didn't even tell me yet. So no, no? you better not. I, sh I feel like I, I should spoil it. No, so just because you spoiled it for yourself. I want to spoil it right now. Do not. No, I will fucking. I'm going to spoil it. I'm going to spoil it. Old man strength. <laughs> Gonzalez's eight wins, first round KO submission. I don't know if I've ever seen this guy fight. The co-main event of the evening. We're gonna react to this. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't don't read what Paul said. <laughs> not reading it. No looking. Everyone knows me. I'm you. not looking. All right. Don't I don't tell know who me. won this fight. Do not say anything. One. All right. I'm gonna say. Um. I want to see Couture get knocked out. That's what I want to say. <laughs> I don't think he is though. Thirty six versus man. All right, they both touch gloves. No, I can't read the chat. It's too chronic. <laughs> I'm not reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, not be looking. careful. Be beware. No looking. The chat Shush. is spoiling. Shush. All right, I'm gonna watch this this fight over here. And here we go. Ghazali versus Couture. Getting ready to start, and the clock. He has a Batman sig symbol across the middle of his chest. <laughs> Wouldn't you? He's the Israeli Batman. Ghazali with the red gloves and blue gloves. Couture. Wow, some tattoos this guy's got, right? He really likes Batman. He even has them on his back. <laughs> a left comes in by Ghazali. He's got them all over himself. Oh, a nice kick to the chest by Couture. Are you using my chapstick? I think it's up my ass. I'm pretty sure. Stand up. Your chapstick is up my ass. Don't spoil it. Uh, Holy Prison tats Batman's is due chronic. All right, we won't spoil it. Uh, no, we don't have a dog. No, that's not. That is not in the equation. A left comes in we by Ghazali. Couture, Ghazali, first round. Leg kick by Couture. Ghazali eats a right by Couture. Is it me or is this like a really aidsy fight to be the co the uh, the co-main event? Like no fucks given in this one. Ghazali does have some interesting tattoos. Right, Jesse? And, it, and uh, you know what? Duke is right. They do look like prison tats. Really? Yeah. I tell you what, the one thing about his tattoos I noticed is they have, whoever did uh, most of those tattoos has a very heavy hand. That ink is going nowhere. You know, that shit's not fading. Ghazali looking very strong. As Kevin you Coach comes in. You can't stop the Siberian Express. With two. Choo -choo, motherfuckers. Oh, Choo -choo, drop motherfuckers. Ghazali. Choo -choo, motherfuckers. All right, see what Kevin says. I'm going to stop making such high donations of real real isn't a special guest and with his own MMA hole produced music. <laughs> well, we know who this is. 
not Kevin Costa. <laughs> I'll give you guys a, a, a quick guess on who you think that donation is. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually a pretty funny one. Thank you, Kevin Costa. Thank, Thank you, you, real real. <laughs> you age like a black guy. It's his MMA reactions and thoughts. I think he's what? talking to you. I do age like a black guy. Have you yeah. seen these lines under my face? Show them these lines under my eyes. Like a black guy. It's like a, you see them? <laughs> that might have been real real's funniest donation. Anyway. All right, here we go. Couture versus Ghazali. We will be talking about the Gracie thing. There's a lot of stories we need to get to. I'm going to race through the stories a little bit tonight so we can, you know, watch the rest of this card. Ghazali coming in, tagging Couture with some rights against the fence, knees to the body by Ghazali. Couture trying to fight it off. Couture is back to the cage as Ghazali, the 41 year old. Ooh, a right comes in by Ghazali, and Couture tags a right of his own. Is this like a catchweight fight or some shit? 170 is Ghazali. Oh, a head kick by Couture. Couture coming in with an elbow. Underhooks against the cage as Couture has the advantage with two minutes left in the first round. I don't do cheap donations like that. This is Kevin Costa. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Don't get a little dog. They, uh, they bark too much as internal. You know what? Internal, we agree on something there. I think they're cute. No, there's a neighbor that uh, is above and across. Man. I know. They have two little dogs. That dog is... I want to I wanna murder the dog. I love animals, but... They're so cute. That dog needs to uh, die. The little dogs shouldn't exist. They... Oh, I want to kill myself. I hate it. Why do little dogs exist? Why have a little Why dog? Why are you so negative? <laughs> Shut up. Just enjoy the no little things in life. No one wants to hear that. You come home from work. Just enjoy the little things in life. No, I, that's, there's no, what, what do you get out of that? Nail hammer. Ah, oh, super chat. He's going to make Kevin Costa never donate again if you keep doing that. What if real, real is ants alone? <laughs> PTS most. <laughs> you know, imagine. Michael Angelone just killing it. Vlad, thank you very much for the donation. Vlad dropping the 2-3. There we go. All right, 23 to 81, creeping back slowly, thanks to Vlad. If anyone else wants to join in on the points game, just say points to Mystic, because look at this. Points look at this. to JBH. Look at this thing that's happening over here. We didn't get through the whole uh, news song, Jesse. Uh, Ghazali on the floor as Couture is kicking the legs. What a shit again? card. Shit, shit card. I guess this is why there's a delay, right? Well, why not show this live, though? I mean, no one cares. They're both trading. Ghazali, off of the floor, comes up with a head kick. He's still on his ass with nine seconds left in the first round as Couture is just kicking away at the thighs and the legs, the, the calves. Ghazali grabs his leg and invites Couture in. The round is over. That was a real easy round, Jesse. Another exorcism. What oh, is this? Oh, this is going to be so good. <gasps> Did they Look at that. the exorcist? Is that what it is? This looks like a made for TV movie, the way it's filmed. The uh, possession movie. Hmm. November 30th. Death is only the beginning. We're watching a trailer right now. A bowl rolls into this bathroom. Hmm, that doesn't look bad, right? Do you want to see that? 20 likes. Thank you very much. Very, very much. Appreciate the likes. Appreciate it. Oh, I was Drunk Savage. Hold on. Hold on a second. Now I'm getting confused. Who was that last donation? Drunk Savage actually donated. Was that, that drunk? Yes. What? Hold on a second. I'm looking back into the donations. Refresh. Kevin Costa. Did I? Did I? But I think that was a super chat. Was it a super chat? Oh, yeah. no. Super chat's coming over here. Um, now I'm confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on anymore. Let's see. Let's let's go back to the videotape. That uh that movie looked pretty good. All right. So Streamlabs doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. Kevin Costa, Vlad. No, there's no Drunk Savage. Oh, there's Drunk Savage. No, I was. The fuck? I'm so confused. Maybe it didn't process. Maybe. Hmm. YouTube super chat. 
Oh, super It says Kevin Costa. That wasn't Drunk Savage, was it? I don't know. JBH just sounded like one of my girlfriends there. You sure she ain't from the sticks? I am from the sticks. She is. Oh, super chat. Real, real coming in. Kevin Costa is a rich kid. I have real bills. (laughs) Is a rich kid. I have real bills. So here... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How dare you? I'm going to stand up for my boy here. Mm. Don't act like you know Kevin Costa until you meet Kevin Costa. How dare you? Okay. I don't know what the hell that was, but Jesse's coming after you now. Couture, inside the guard. <laughs> this is so bad. I don't even know. Like, I don't even know why we're watching this anymore. As soon as I found out, and it was funny, actually Jay Smooth jumping into the chat room saying that there was a tape delay, I had no idea. And then I look online, I'm like, holy fuck, there is. And then I see the main event, the results. These tape delays, they just, they suck the life out of you. Just knowing that it happened already, and now I know the, the main event. Anyway, uh, Couture inside the guard of Ghazali, very early in the round, working from the top. Leashes out. <laughs> oh, boy. Stand by me when you're not strong. I'll be your friend. I'll help you carry on. So it won't be long till I'm gonna need somebody to lean on. Why does things just call? On me, brother. <laughs> you are <laughs> you have some dance moves, I gotta say. Why do singers close their eyes when they sing? I don't close my eyes. Yeah, you were closing those eyes. But congratulations for singing. You're not a singer online and you just did it in front of all those people. You can't stop Good job there, Jesse. Express. What do you think of Jesse singing? Motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm so disgusting. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Between what just happened there with the song, the Jesse breaking into song and then doing her Steve Martin dance, <laughs> and then the fake King's Your Mother's Ring coming in, um, Couture versus Ghazali, uh, ref letting them get back to, up to the feet. I don't know how to handle tonight. I don't, I'm just kind of going along for the ride. I think I might. I I still think I'm gonna win the points game. I'm sure I don't. It's gonna happen. What? <laughs> it's gonna happen. But other than that, um, yeah. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> this is a good night. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Well, you're having fun because you're winning. And you got a new news song. We'll get back to the news after this fight over here. Couture. Has a Ghazali against the fence with some knees to the body and elbow by Couture. Couture doing some good work over here to the hometown hero. Ghazali swings off, and now they're back to the middle of the cage. Couture coming forward again. Pushes Ghazali back to the fence. Oh, and super a super chat. chat. The G-Man. Blow torch a hammer and bash my sack, please, any woman. Two most. All right. <laughs> the comeback. <laughs> The comeback, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're about to see a mystical comeback. Right over here, 25 to 81. Very confident. Thank you. Someone bash G-Man's balls in, for God's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> King goes points to Chris. Uh, let's see. Don't worry, Sean Hart. I got this. I got this in the book. The comeback. Nick knows where it's at. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. We'll start the clock when we're done with these fights for the ending of the game. But right now we are watching Bellator 209 as Couture is working against the fa- <laughs> Kevin Coast. <laughs> yes! It's my boy! Motherfucker. Yeah! <laughs> oh, super chat. <laughs> Whoops. Am I catching hate? That's I'm right, not boy. a rich kid. I'm a successful man. Don't say simp. Say thank you, Kevin, for stepping up and supporting wow. the greatest channel on YouTube. Yes! 
points to my girl JBH. Wow. Another 69. You just rubbed it in all your fucking faces. <laughs> oh my god. Suck it. That's my boy. That's my boy. Jesse, would you like to make a speech to First Kevin Costa? Jesus Christ, that was insane. Everyone should be thanking Kevin Costa for keeping this fucking show running. Oh, snap. Thank you, Kevin Costa, for my points. Wow. 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 That's wow. my boy. 151 points. Kevin Costa coming in strong. Oh, super saying, shy. The team Mystic. Wow. Real, Kevin real. Costa no. stole his dad's credit card tonight. He's, he's saying, fuck the haters. <laughs> oh, my God. He's I saying, still think I'm going to win, Jesse. He's, I, saying, I, I, he's not saying, fuck Team Mystic. He's saying, fuck the haters. I, I am so mystical. I still think I'm going to win. I don't know how, but it's going to happen, I think. The loser of the points game tonight has to face the chat roast once again. So stick around, and you get a chance to dunk one of us, Mystic or JBH, right now. Who do you I think it'll be? Down. <laughs> and I need some serious help. So if you're enjoying the show, uh, help. All right, here we go. Third round. Ghazali versus Ryan Couture. We'll be live tomorrow night for the Ponzinibbio versus Magni fight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say this right now, since, since uh, Costa has been very generous with his pointage. I love Neil Magni. In the fight against Ponzinibbio. We got a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> subscriber over here. Manlit Holocaust has just uh, jumped in. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, Manlit Holocaust. Yes, I did say it. Neil Magny for the win. Oh, speaking of win, Couture coming in for the win against Ghazali in the third round. Goes for the takedown. Gets it. So that's that. Have you made a pick on the uh, main event tomorrow? Are you going to still think about it? I'm still, I, I won't let you guys know until fight night. Until fight night. Oof, cliffhanger. Oh, what do you got in the chat? Super chat. Magni or Ponzi? Get me some chicken, you little ginger beard bitch boy, to <laughs> most. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking big ebony honey bun. What up, boo boo? All right, I'll get you your chicken. Don't worry. Big ebony After honey stream. bun. Big ebony. I love your profile picture, big ebony. She looks beautiful. It's great. It's stunning. It's a stunning picture. It's great. Uh, food fight talk. Uh, taking your video, your views, bro. You better take them out before <laughs> food You're fight. just trying to start shit. Like, yeah. He's been doing that all night. Who, MMA reactions? Yeah, yeah. he's been saying that all Listen, night. First of all, Food Fight's live. They can't even They can't even keep their channel up. They, it oh, keeps getting struck and pulled chat. down. So, I mean, it really doesn't mean yeah. shit. Can't let MOS get slaughtered. Love to all. There you go. Now, Jesse, mm. Jeremiah White, does that count over there? He says he, he can't yes. let me get... All right, thank you. Jeremiah White... Thank you for the donation. <laughs> you deserve it, buddy. <laughs> the sympathy points from Jesse. Remember, say points to Mystic or points to JBH. Thank you very much, much Jeremiah. We need to piece together a victory. Yeah. We need. I, I need to piece piece together a victory because I'm getting. I am getting slaughtered right now. I'm getting my ass handed to me by Kevin Costa. Appreciate the donations, Kevin. But how dare you go against the mystical one? Right. Then stop the Zambian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Small dogs are delicious. Mm. I mean, I'm sure I've had them before. You know, I've had Chinese food many of times, and they are delicious. Jesse, what do you think about small dogs? What What are your thoughts on the taste of small dogs? What are you doing? You know, you know what this means? You're starting a fire with your fingers? No, this is shame. Oh. Shame. Shame. Shame on you. <laughs> shame. Friday night watching MMA reruns and Moss gets slaughtered, says Hammer K. Yeah, pretty much. Right? L listen, we've said this a million times. When you get a shitty card, the MMA holes are here. F we'll distract you from this shite over here. Now, not only is it shite, and Ryan Couture is, is doing a mutilation on Gonzali. The poor crowd is not happy, I'm sure. But Ryan Couture is beating up a 40-something-year-old man that probably shouldn't even be in the game anymore at 8, 5, and 0. Um, but it's a replay, right? So just watch the MMA holes. Look at the guy in the crowd. He pushes his, his kid down, and he's screaming. I guess he's trying to help out his guy. Couture oh, puts the hand on the neck chef. of Ghazali. We're going to finish the job. Now High holes one for Ginger Chris and one for Ginger right. Jesse. Wait. Ginger Chris oh, and Ginger Jesse. <laughs> Splitting the points. All right, I'll do that. 152. Yeah. All right. 
Fair enough. Oh, thank you. So nice of you for my point. Jesse loves them points. All right, 28. God damn it. I'm going to win tonight. I don't know why. Lean on me. You feeling sad yet? When you're This is how I know she's feeling good. Kevin Costa, you you brighten her day up. She don't sing. And here we go. Somebody to lean on. Just go on me, brother. When you (laughs) Jesus Christ. I'm going to throw up. We all need someone chat roaster. To lean on. All right. Couture with one minute and five seconds left. Looking to finish strong here. As he's trying to drop down the hammer on Gonzali. Gonzali not showing much or from oh, the back. Super real, real with the donation. Thank you to Kevin Costa's parents for donation. Don't get salty on Kevin Costa, real, real. <laughs> Don't you dare get salty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. We're going to get back to the news after this fight. I'm kind of wanting to get to the news now because Couture is going to win this one. I mean, unless there's a, a miracle. Or Couture could finish the fight here with 30 seconds left. Was it? I don't think it's going to happen. Man, oh, man. Domination in the third round by Ryan Couture. Haim Gonzali. Not much to show in this round or this fight at all. It's over. It says MMA reactions. What's the ugly picture doing on the wall? It says Khabib Goat. <laughs> Marlon Brando? Jesus. How dare you say that about Marlon Brando? Couture finishing really strong, dropping some more rights and elbows to the head of Ghazali. Any Israeli friends in the chat? Even though you saw her live. And Couture puts his hands up in the air, celebrates. And rightfully so, because that was a complete domination over there. All right, Jesse. Jesse. Unless there is a crazy turn of events and they give the decision to Ghazali, we'll stop and start talking about that. But I'm pretty sure that Couture got a unanimous decision over here. And Jesse, let's go back in to the news. Should we? Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it again. Time to the news back. Everybody, it's time, time to fap. Time to the news back. Time to the news back. Let's go. Time to the news back. Time to the news back. Time to the news back. GBH was in the news. Since we acted all confused. And the name is what we need. You ready? One more for money's pussy, please. Come on! Now and later. Fire make Brazil great again hats for Bolsonaro. <laughs> you know what? Just because it said no points, you can have them. No, no, Take no, em. no. I don't want sympathy no, points No, I feel here. bad. If now and later does not want to say points to Mystic, I'm not them. taking those points. Take the points. No, I'm not going to take those points. I offered, guys. You saw me offer. I, I want legit points over here. I can't take those sympathy points. It has to say points to Mystic. It's, it's only fair. But thank you now and later for the donation. And what do you say there? Buy your uh, Make Brazil Great Again hats for... Uh, all right. But just buy your Make Brazil Great Again hats. Now and later selling it on the Now and Later store. All right, Jesse, what else do we have in the news over here? As we only got through one story. According to MMA Mania, Conor McGregor is forced to apologize for proper number 12. Proper 12. Here's Kevin Costa. Here's the man who's donating over here, rocking his swole MMA whole shirt. Check him out from Vancouver. Thank you, Kevin Costa, for all the donations. If you'd like to uh, congratulate him for his swole sexy shirt, go over to the MMA Holes. Dot com. All right, let's go to the proper 12. Proper 12. Oh, I'm All looking right. forward to watching the Cavillia, uh, the Cynthia Wayne. I didn't get yeah. to see it yet. Former UFC lightweight champ Conor McGregor recently issued an apology for his Irish whiskey proper 12, not because it tastes like turpentine and rubbing alcohol, but rather because most locations have already sold out, leaving loyal fans without a taste of the Mac life. Not a good look, especially with Thanksgiving right around the corner. He said, quote, I don't usually see a reason to apologize, but in this case, I want to take this chance to apologize to absolutely everyone for our out-of-stock situation. (laughs) Jesus Christ. We are also planning to launch in more countries in 2019, including the United Kingdom, Australia, New Zealand, Russia, Canada, and others. We will continue to expand as quickly as possible to meet the global demand. Ireland and the United States can expect new shipments in December. All right, proper twelve, proper twelve, being sold out all over the place. And I gave you my view review. We we have a couple of bottles over here, and I kind of enjoy it. It's not because I'm a a McNugget or a McTapper or whatever the fuck you want to call him. 
Nut hugger. I actually enjoy the whiskey. It's not bad for some cheap stuff. Cheap All right, stuff. Freddie Mercury. Let's go. All right. Mirsad Bektik is out of UFC 231 fight with Hanato Moicano, uh, according yeah. to MMA Fighting. Hanato Moicano will no longer fight Mirsad Bektik at UFC 231 as the Bosnian featherweight has been forced out of the December 8th card. Sources confirmed MMA Fighting following a report by Flow Combat. Moicano remains on the UFC 231 card for now, but the promotion hasn't found a new opponent for him just yet. The pay-per-view event takes place at Scotiabank Arena in tar- Toronto and is headlined by a featherweight title bout between Max Holloway and Brian Ortega. We are the champions, my, my friend. friend. And we'll keep, keep on fighting till the end. We, we are the champions. champions. We are the champions. No time for losers. Cause we are the champions. All right, what else do we have in the news? All right, according to MMA News, Daniel Cormier lets fans decide his next opponent. John Jones! It's no secret that Daniel Cormier has had his sights set on Brock Lesnar ever since winning the World Heavyweight Championship from Stipe Miocic at UFC 226. Cormier has even claimed that the Lesnar fight will be the next and final fight of his fighting career. However, on Thursday, Cormier seemed to be open to other suggestions after partnering up once again with Carl Jr., the fast food burger chain that partnered with Cormier to help promote UFC 230. Other names that have been tossed around as potential next opponents for Cormier have been Stipe Miocic in a rematch for the UFC Heavyweight Championship and, of course, longtime nemesis John Bones Jones as well. If you want to have your voice heard on whom Cormier should face next, the double champ took to Twitter to present the public with a way to do so. He said, quote, What's up, guys? Since Carl's Jr. helped me dominate last week and the fans loved it so much we are partnering up again so on friday november 16th national fast food day post a selfie with the carl's jr famous state star burger use the hashtag famous star fight and tag the person you think i should fight no the person i'm not go- i'm going to dominate in my next bout i'll also be going to carl's jr so grab yourself a famous star burger post a photo and then we will determine who takes an l the next time i step into the octagon let's go baby let's go all right what do we got What's next for DC? Let me know in the chat room. Jesse, what else we got? According to BJPenn.com, Kevin Lee plans to send a message to Khabib Nurmagomedov at UFC on Fox 31. (sighs) Khabib. On December 15th at UFC on Fox 31, surging UFC lightweight contender Kevin Lee will step into the cage with Ally Quinta, who he lost back in 2014. Heading into this fight, Kevin Lee is bracing for a tough night at the office. He said, quote, I think Al is tough. This is Lee. Uh, His biggest attribute is that he's very, very tough and he stays in there for as long as he can and that's what he's done. But at the end of the day, the numbers don't lie and I've had 12 fights since our last fight. He's only had six and he's taken some time away from our game or from the game. He's started doing real estate and just doing it for money. I've really dedicated myself to this and I think I've constantly improved and shown new things during fights and shown something new every single fight. From him, you kind of just see the same thing. He's strong, he's tough, and he's going to give me a good fight, but he's going to take a beating in front of the world on December 15th and I think he knows that. I think it's going to be a totally different fight than our first. I'm totally different. He might be different. Our first fight was a good fight. I still have a lot of people that hit me up about the fight and they go back and they watch it and they tell me how good it was, but I think this this one is going to be totally different. While Kevin Lee is eager to avenge his previous loss to Ally Aquinta, he says the main priority is sending a clear message to reigning UFC lightweight champion Khabib Nurmagomedov with an impressive win. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. <laughs> Internal just, yeah. Thank you. Internal. I'm pretty sure Internal is going to come back with some words. Thank you, Internal. Thank you for the donation. Kevin Lee, very, very uh, difficult opponent, a 155er, could fight probably at 170. Kevin Lee, I think, is going to be a thorn in the 155 so- side. People aren't really talking much about Kevin Lee. Mm-hmm. He's fighting an ally of Quinta who beat him already, but this is a new, revamped, older Kevin Lee. And I think this is a more well-rounded Kevin Lee. So it's going to be an interesting fight over here. Um, this will show, is Kevin Lee real, the real deal? Can he run over Al? If he runs over Al, then uh, he's a player. Yeah. He's a player. Because think about it. Al Quint is tough. He's not a champion, but he's a very tough opponent. And if Kevin Lee can do work, get the win back from Al, um, 
I think it really puts him in a spot where he can be maybe a fight away from a gold. Mm-hmm. I really do. The guy, he's he's shown that he can fight this kid. So Kevin Lee, what is the outcome against him versus Ally Quinta? Let me know in the chat. Of course, I got to go raging because, you know, he's from New York. Of from course. New York. Of course. All right, Jess, what else we have in the news? According to BJPen.com, UFC is looking to sign BJJ wizard Akron Gracie. A wizard? They're going to sign a wizard? A wizard. Like an actual, like, fucking wizard. Like an actual wizard. All right. All right. When you hear the name Gracie, you automatically think of someone with some pretty damn good Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Well, the case is no different for the son of Rickson, Kron Gracie. It now appears that another Gracie may be finding their way back into the octagon, as ESPN's Brett Okamoto reports that the UFC is looking to bring the BJJ wizard in. He said, quote, Hearing the UFC is working on signing decorated grappler Kron Gracie. You can't stop this and be the an coming in. Choo-choo, <laughs> motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, uh, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. On that note, my boyfriend is 5'9 and packing right above 11 inches. I've only been with big, husky guys packing 3 to 5 inch, but my new boyfriend makes me have free-handed prostate orgasms every single time we do it. Free-handed prostate orgasms. <laughs> Thank you, Internal. I appreciate it. That was really nice of Internal to, to, to shed some light on that whole situation. Oh, real, real coming in. Chat. Makes sense. A lot of rich kids in Vancouver. <laughs> He's going after Kevin Stone. What? What? Mm. You know what makes you look worse going after Kevin Costa? I just want you to know that. Like it, it makes you look worse because now it looks like you're jealous that that he gives mm. me more points than you give. Well, I got to say, Kevin Costa is a goddamn celebrity. You know why? Because Kevin Costa is on the MMAholes dot com, rocking one of the greatest shirts of all time. If you want to get yourself a T-shirt, check out. The MMA holes.com. Now, Jesse unpinned Kevin. Well, how dare you? I'm trying to get through the news. Oh, okay, there he is. There he is with his shirt. If you want to get yourself an MMA holes t shirt, check out the MMA holes.com. There's a fight that's about to get started, and it's the main event of the evening. I know the outcome of this fight, but Jesse yeah, doesn't see? know. So, because Jesse doesn't know, Jesse will be calling the fight. Sanchez versus Pitbull, the main event of the evening. Sanchez with eight wins by knockout or submission. Six first round finishes is about to go into the cage. Jesse, I'm going to make the floor yours right now because you have 152 points. I need fucking help. You better fucking help me. Someone's going to save the mystical one tonight. Points to make Miss All right. <laughs> All right, Jesse, what do you think? What do Who do you, you have in this fight? Pitbull or Sanchez? Both uh, five nine is Sanchez. Pitbull five foot five. Uh, Pitbull. Pitbull for the yeah, win. Yeah, I told you that before the show. Okay. Pitbull. Should I tell her? Don't. I'm not looking in the chat from now on. Not looking in the chat. Sorry guys, I love you guys, but I'm not looking. You can't stop the Siberian Express. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. Choo choo motherfuckers. Chris, I have a beef with you, man. Why were you doubting DC against Lewis? I thought you were a real fan confident in his skills and dominance. He is the most dominant guy in the UFC. He's not insecure like Jones. He don't need to cheat. It's true. Now, here's the thing. I you Called can, out! You can ask Jesse. I had to play the middle guy on this one because I didn't think the Beast would win. I didn't think that. So what I had to do is, is come up with this whole shtick to you know make you excited about it. But realistically... If you could ask Jesse behind closed doors, I knew that DC was going to win the fight. But it's easy to say DC was going to win that fight. It was too easy. So I didn't want to go out there and just be like, oh my God, it's going to be a domination. Everyone, their mother was saying it. You would li- It would literally be rinse and repeat if you listen to me say it too. So I had to play devil's advocate. And in fact, in that fight, I didn't make a pick. The reason why I didn't make a pick in that fight is because I just enjoy both fighters. I mean, come on. Did anyone really, in their heart, think... That the Black Beast was going to win that fight. I mean, Jesse, did you think there was any shot no. that the Black Beast was going to win that fight? I don't think anyone that's thought that. That's why I voted DC. So, that's a, That's that. All right, here we go. Pitbull walking into the cage. Patricio. It's Patricio. I had a friend named Patricio. Patricio. Yep, I did. <laughs> Ken goes, I did. <laughs> no, Ken, you went for the money. And it made no sense betting the other way, right? So... I get it. <laughs> Have you, Christopher? 
Ken. Yeah, I mean, he went he went with the fucking he went with the money. You know, you got to go with the underdog, right? It's just it was I don't know. That Patricio. was that was a money fight for uh How about Pitbull? He has a uh, Henry Cejudo's coach in the corner. What is this Henry Cejudo's coach? I forgot his name. Daddy. Jesse. What? Why would you do that? Do what? Henry Cejudo's uh, his coach is not a Daddy. He just likes to wear those glasses, Jesse. That's not that's not how he goes. All right, here we go. Now we have 105 people watching. We are reacting to a tape delay of Pitbull versus Sanchez. Jesse's going to call us through the fight. Patricio, no, you call it. No, no, no. I know the outcome. It's, 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 no, you call it. You call it. No, I don't want to. I can't, ha I can't I don't act want excited. To either. I can't act excited. I know what happens. You call the fight. Then can I just ruin it for everybody? No. No. Does any, how many people in the chat... Know the outcome before it happens of Pitbull. And just say, don't ruin it out there for the chat room. Jesse, don't look at the chat. Not. Nah. Because they're probably going to ruin it. I won't look. I advise you right now. What? If you're watching this stream, do not watch the chat if you do not want to spoil you're it. You're going to make people want to look. Because they will spoil it in that chat. I know a girl's nicknamed Shaquita says do chronic. Shaquita. What's the tale of the tape? <gasps> Pitbull is 27 and 4, Sanchez is 17 and 3. 31 is Pitbull, 28 is Sanchez, 5 and 5 is Pitbull, 5 9 is Sanchez, 144.5 pounds for Pitbull, 143 for Sanchez, and 65 inch reach for Pitbull, 71 inch reach for Sanchez. Brian Royger, you're not supposed to say retard. Oh, I just read it. <laughs> Why'd you read the chat? I don't know, I just glanced over the chat for Why'd a second. I just warned you not to do it. What the fuck? <laughs> Why'd you go over there? I just warned everybody. Why would you go if you didn't want to know? What the fuck are you gonna look over there? It's AIDS. They're all AIDS in here. Why would you even do it? Law of attraction. <laughs> no law. It was like five. It was law that I, I read. I read law. Don't say retard. See, law says you're not allowed to say retard. All right. So now pretend you're excited about it. You Is had to it, look over there. I can't. I, uh... You knew who was gonna win this fight. No, I didn't. You never told me. I asked you. Did I actually I, said it earlier. Did I in the not show. ask you who was gonna win this fight earlier? I know, but I said it earlier in the show. You just weren't paying attention. I didn't say it. Okay. So but I missed it. Yeah. All right, here we go. Pretend you... Let's, all right. We're going to pretend... This is what we're going to do. Since Bellator likes to play Mr. Tape Delay, we're going to pretend that we don't know what the fuck is going on. All right? Let's do our best acting job right now, Jesse. Okay? That's going to be difficult. We're going to gonna describe the fights, and we're going to give our best fight reaction ever, even though we know... Now, I don't know what round. I know the outcome. I know how he won. But I don't know the rounds. Do you know the rounds? I'll guess the round. Oh, you said he. Now they know it's a guy, Jesse. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. You ready, guys? Look, there are a bunch of fortune tellers in the chat. They all, they all have a crystal ball, and somehow they know who won this fight. It's unbelievable. It's un fucking believable. We should never say anything about a tape delay. We should have pretend we had no idea and just picked all the fights right and be like, "Oh my God, we're so great." You know, some people would have believed it. It would have been like we had a DeLorean that went back in time. What is a DeLorean? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Tell me. Someone murder me now. <laughs> e please. Please, someone murder me because right I now. I don't know what a DeLorean is. Come on. Don't be so dramatic. Just tell me. Hello, McFly. <laughs> All right, here we go. What? Okay, you ready? Can you tell me? Pitbull versus Sanchez. Here we go. Let's go. Let's react oh, to the main to event <laughs> of the evening. <coughs> All right. <laughs> Short Rose is having a heart attack. All right. Start the clock. Here we go. All right. All right. Pitbull versus Sanchez. We're in the first round right now. You we have the clock your, over here. If you want to sync it up, Pitbull has the red gloves. I wonder oh, who's going to win. Sanchez has chat. the blue. Real, real with the donation. Rather be born rich than born with the Irish curse. <laughs> hmm. By the way, did you see Real Real's Twitter? <laughs> no. Why? Oh my god. Can I, I look can't. It up? By the way, Real Real, how old are you? When you called in, you sounded like you were like a sixty five year old retired man. How old are you? Can we need a In fairness, he assumes that about everyone. No, he's, he, he assumes sound... everyone's a sixty five year old retired well, man. He's New York and moved to Florida. So right off the bat, you would think, okay, he's retired, right? So you would think he moved down to Florida because he's from New York. Mm. That's not him. 
It says real, real. Yeah. Follows us. I know. What I'm saying is that's not him. Oh, well, what, what, how am I supposed he called to know? Up. No, I'm saying he called up and it was like, wait, hold on. This, this guy's 26. There's no way. Real, real, real. real. What's your honest. Twitter? Real, how real. Old is, uh, how old are you? 68, 51, 53. Oh, super All right. We're not paying shit. attention. There was a nut shot over here. Henry, what's up, a Henry? A great car. A great car. It's a great car. Thank you, Henry Solstice. What's oh. <laughs> Isn't Solstice a car? All right, let me stop the clock. He is 26 is Staley. 60 says Nick Lyle. All right. There's I, I I can't get I don't know, maybe he was smoking that day or some shit. <laughs> Chris tell what a DeLorean is. <laughs> all right. Uh, after the show, I'm going to make her sit through all three movies. Nick! Then stop the Siberian Express! Choo choo! Choo choo, motherfuckers! Choo choo, motherfuckers! Choo choo, motherfuckers! Nick Lyle coming in. If you talk DC or talking about a lifelong dominant fair athlete, he's a hunk. But Snitch Limpty Jones is the same guy who hid under an octagon to avoid steroid testing. Jones is a known liar. His teammates were popping on the same drugs as him, lol. Man, oh man, Nick Lyle coming in hard on John Jones. Nasty stuff over here. Pitbull coming in with a couple oh, of clean shots to the head. Real, real with the donation. Thank you, Nick. And thank you, real, real. Early 32. That's 100% my picture. Wait, hold on a second. It is life. him. No, he went. <laughs> it is him. <laughs> it says he follows you. You're that. I know. But if he shows a picture, that doesn't mean it's him. Like, what What do you... No, but you said <laughs> you said that's not his Twitter account. No, it is his Twitter account. I, I know it. that. What I'm saying is... Uh, real, real... Say, he went from 26. He just got older. Hold on a second. Let me stop the clock over here. It's 2.53. All right, we have Pitbull versus Sanchez. First round. We know the... Re, we know I the, believe it. Actually, no, you don't. <laughs> There's no way. It. He goes like, yeah, man. So? He just has a deep voice. <laughs> I believe it's I, him. I'm not buying it. I believe it's I am you. not buying it. All right, here we go. Two. Well, why did he say he's 26 and now all of a sudden he's 32? How does that Maybe work? Maybe he doesn't want you to know his real age because it's creepy. That That's creepy, but everything that he says in there is not. Oh, shit. Pitbull gets rocked. How about this? Pitbull getting rocked with some shots. Both fighters are trading in the pocket. It's actually a pretty good fight here, Sanchez and Pitbull. Sanchez gets popped to the right. Pitbull always in a war. He does look like a mini Orlovsky. Whoever said that in the chat. Sanchez holding his own in the first round. I don't know the round where it happens. But what I do know is we got a good fight here. A tape replay. Bellator to, uh, 209. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. Tony lies. People, where have you all been? Says Drunk Savage. Chris, why are you so proud of this show? Says One Bed. The same reason why you're so proud of the Eagles. I'm right? very proud of you for being proud of this show. You deserve to be proud of this show. I'm actually proud of this show for a lot of reasons, though. I Like, I actually am. Like, I have to say, with two years, you know, and <laughs> just like doing it as a hobby, just hanging around, you know, Having a couple of peeps over here bullshitting about the sport of mixed martial arts. Fukuoka Friday is always a more lean, laid back uh, night. But um, I have so much fun doing this. So not only do I have a lot of fun doing this, I mean, the ball busting is, I live for ball busting. And to, to be able to do this so many days a week, meeting new people over here, cracking jokes and acting like an idiot. How could you not be proud of this shit, right? It's great. It's great. Even when I go to family functions and they, they don't even look at me because some of them like, try to tune in and they're like, oh, he's here. I'm so proud of that. But now you have someone else with you <laughs> who they can be like, oh, they're here. I just dragged you down with me. Now you're, you're on my level. Wait until you go to a family function. Wait until you see that. I've like, been oh, to a family function. Oh, hi. Actually, they, they treat you pretty well. Yeah. yeah. They like Surprisingly. me. Surprisingly. I'm a nice person. Mystic for president. That's right. I will be the next president of the United States. When Donald Trump is done, I will take over his spot. That's right. I just hope you don't really uh, hate me, Moss. It's kind of I don't. Here's the thing: we don't hate anybody. As much as I bust balls with everybody, I don't. I don't hate. Honestly, there's no hate at all. Uh, Ross, I, I hate Ross. Because I used to like him. I used to like Ross. He's I a hate good Ross guy. too. Yeah. Only because he threatened a lot of like ridiculous things. All right, first round is over. 
I don't even hate Russ. No, what? I wish I, I, wish I could. I hate. He threatened to to well, rape me. Well, yeah. And, every, and in fairness, slit my throat, make me sit on a knife. Like he had some really bizarre shit. But did you see the picture of him? Do you blame him for saying those things? Yeah, I no. mean, I don't blame him. Look at him. Uh. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, right? I mean, then you're like, ah, I feel bad for the guy. No. I don't feel bad for him. No. No. If you guys saw him, the DMs. Yeah, who cares? I don't feel bad for him. He's DMing. The fuck? I don't feel bad for him. Mm-mm. Nope. That guy was creepy. No way. <laughs> Rosa wanted to dump uh, Jesse in a river after raping her. <laughs> yeah. You had to see the D. It was so ridiculous. The dude, like, got personal. He Like, family and everything. He got... He was well, the best part... Stalker m- material right there. He was the greatest, though, back in the day, like, in the chat. He was the greatest. Like, he was the goat for us. Like, he was in the chat just harassing everybody. And then I'm like, yo, let's go attack this channel. And then Ross would go in guns blazing and just light, make the other person's channel miserable. No respect. He was great. No respect. And then all of a sudden, you came along. And, and then all of a sudden, he, he wanted to rape you and kill like you. He turned into, like, stalker. <laughs> like, hardcore you, stalker. You ruined Ross. No, Ross He's such ruined a good guy. himself. And then, and then the best is when Jesus, Israel Jesus Christ, was in the chat. And then Ross became religious. He found God. Yeah. <laughs> Ross fucking found God. Uh, these are vintage chat room stories. I can go on and on. There's so many good stuff. There's there are so many community changes that's happened over here. But we I have a good fight. We got a good we got a good group now. Pitbull versus Sanchez in the second round of a fight that happened already. I wonder who wins. Uh, fuck Jesse says King. How about King's your mother's ring? By the way, he, he has a, a new leaf though. He has a soft side. I know. I like King. King. King, he can be an asshole sometimes, but like it's clear that he's just trolling. You know, he like, has a very soft side. He's yeah, a very he's, sweet man. I'm not gonna name the other chat that I've seen him in, but he was he was literally cradling another YouTuber, right, and holding them and caressing them, and and like it's, it's gonna be all right, buddy. King's your mother's ring. No shit. Uh-huh. He has a soul. JBH came in changing shit. Uh, she changed you, Chris. She changed you. Wow. <laughs> Brady what? Ferguson. What man? <laughs> Is that Brady? It sounds you think like it, it is? Well, that's what Brady Ferguson Brady, would say. which one are you? Because we know you're still in the chat. Which one is Brady Ferguson? Get back as Brady Ferguson. What is this shit? <laughs> it, it might be him. Nah, it can't be. It could be. If that if that's Brady, that wouldn't be cool. Because Brady is... I actually like he Brady. He said things like I know. that before. Yeah, but I'd rather him say it as Brady Ferguson. It would make more sense. You can't stop this again. Express. Nick Lyle. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Nick. Thanks, Chris and Jesse, for what you do. I don't usually donate, but I wanted everyone to. No, I am the first openly gay MMA holds fan here. My crush is DC. There you go. Yeah. Now, is this is this a true donation? Nick? I don't care if it's true or not. I'm going to treat it like it's true. <laughs> I don't know who Nick is. First not- openly gay MMA <laughs> hole, Nick Lyle. Is he? Listen, we need, more, we need more fucking gay people here, right? Uh, we need more gay people in this community, for God's sakes. Now, if Nick bum. is gay. Thank I don't you, care. I don't care if you're actually gay or not. You said it. I'm treating it like you're gay. He's gay for DC, Adam, but that's a weird one to be gay for. No, fist bump to Nick Lyle. Yeah, respect. Uh, <laughs> but why DC, Nick? Is it because of how him as a fighter and how he carries himself outside of the cage, or is it by his looks? I can't see. Anyway, let's go back to <laughs> Nick. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to dig deeper into this. I uh, hear there he is. He's in the chat. This is real, real, LOL. Image being, uh, imagine, s- imagine being such a retard. Hold on. You donate to insult someone else. Ha ha. Keep spending your money, retard. Whoa. <laughs> Whew, Nick's going in hard. God damn. Damn. All right. Let's go back to the fight over here. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking crazy night. The community has gone nuts. Two joints is openly heterosexual. <laughs> the first openly hetero- heterosexual sexual person in the chat. Two joints. Look at that cut. Yeah, man. Sanchez. Under his right eye, but, sliced yeah. open by the Patricky. Patrizio, I'm sorry, not Patricky. Look exactly the same. Pitbull eats a leg kick. There's two minutes left in his second round of this Bellator fight. Another leg kick by Sanchez to the nuts. Sliding up the leg to the nutsack. Stops the clock. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay, Gay is going uh, start to fight in MMA. Gaze is going to fight. I'm sh- I'm pretty sure that we have some homosexual. Oh, I mean, we, have, we definitely have lesbian fighters for sure. You know that that's a fact. But um, yeah, who cares? But gay guys, Psst, who you know, cares? it is like to Casey. 
was one that was like doing like uh, pictures in like gay magazines or something like that. And he, I don't think he's openly gay, but man, Sanchez is sliced up. But he was the first one that kind of was like, ah, fuck it, who cares? But yeah, there's no like no gay. It's true though. Why isn't there more openly gay fighters? Do you think because of the type of sport? I mean, listen. And look at the community behind the MMA sport. No, I'm not talking about that. But what about when they're fighting, right? Now, when when you go to a gym, males and females are rolling, so there's no real problems or anything like that. But when two guys are fighting and you're inside someone's guard and it's someone pops a boner. It doesn't happen that way. <laughs> oh, my God. You, right? You're the prime example of why they don't come out and say they're gay. Oh, yeah, but I'm like, uh-oh, Pitbull looking to finish a job with a knee to the head. But I wonder if that's what it is. It's not what it is. Maybe fi- some fighters are such like <sighs> such douchebags that they You're don't the want to get in the cage with someone that likes men. Maybe that's the case. What is he on the worst? I'm just trying to figure it out. You, you think he's probably born in wrestling? Express. It's a joke. Choose you, motherfuckers. Choose you, motherfuckers. Young brother. Choose you, motherfuckers. Listen, Staley is hating in the chat saying I only give crappy $2 donations, but I... Don't ever recall him donating once he contributes nothing to this show. Whoa. Wow. My donations have added up a lot over time. KYS, you homo Jew rat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, there you have it. No one's even playing the points game anymore. You heard it here first. I know. Th- they're just going, it's like donation war. <laughs> Feel free to say points mystic, but thank you for the donation. You stop the Siberian Express. Choose you, motherfuckers. Choose you, motherfuckers. Choose you, motherfuckers. Yeah. These autism levels are off the charts tonight, most. Crazy. We blew a fuse in panel. Replacing it as we speak. <laughs> Carry on. Points most. There we go. Replacing it as we speak. Great. I lo- I, that's actually really funny. I like that. <laughs> we blew right, a fuse points. in panel. Replacing it as we speak. That's Holy so shit. cute. Like, if you think about it, like, all of them in there in the chat room trying to replace the chat room. It's kind of, I like that. That's funny, Vlad. Good job. This is Good a job. definite odd one tonight. Pitbull ending the round strong. Second round done. And we reset the clock. Pitbull looking very good in this fight. I wonder who wins. We'll find out. 152 to 30 is the points game. So here's the deal. When I start the clock, the five-minute clock for the rest of this fight, uh, I can't do that. Because we have to get through some news, too. What time is it? 10.49. All right, so after the fight, I'm going to put time on the clock. And then the point, points game is going to be officially over. I'm going to win, Jesse. I know I'm going to win. No, you're I just not. have this feeling. I feel very lucky tonight. <laughs> 152 to 30. The loser has to get the chat roast. I'll put the clock on. And then after this fight, we'll read some news. And we'll wind up the show. Okay? Okay. That works. We have How many stories do we have left? Quite a bit. Yeah. All right, so we'll blast through the stories. And then we'll roll into tomorrow night. It's Friday. Right, so let's let's hang out. Let's hang with the boys. Hang with the boys. All right. Bellator two hundred nine and a you donation. Can't stop this real, express. real. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Choo choo, motherfuckers. Here we go. The story. Of course, I was high when I called. I smoke every night. Moved to FL at twenty four, early twenties. Been here six to seven years. Just turned thirty two. Wrestling since age 8 to 18, lifting weights since age 18. Don't be mad that you're skinny. Try training like a real man. (laughs) I don't know. I don't buy it. There's no head in the picture, and I don't see a no proof. I don't see a 50 year old man in the picture, so I don't believe it. But thank you for the donation. I do appreciate that. As we go into the third round, Bellator 209. Thank you to everyone for donating tonight. Appreciate it. You guys are real generous. And here we go. Patricky Pitbull, Patricio Pitbull versus, I keep on saying Patricky, versus Emmanuel Sanchez going on right now. The 27-4-0 versus the 17-3-0 in the third round of a pre-recorded fight. All right. <laughs> cool story, bro. It needs dragons, though. All right. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Okay. Left by Pitbull. Oh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It's tough to get away from the chat. It really is. All Re- right. Here we go. Roberto Hernandez, uh, Patricky okay. Pitbull, mm-hmm. Patricio Pitbull in the third round is doing some work on Sanchez. Emmanuel Sanchez looking to get something done, but uh, this fight happened already. <laughs> Sanchez going upstairs with the kicks. Pitbull standing in the pocket, circling around. 
Sanchez coming in with some more leg kicks. Pitbull waiting, waiting patiently for his moment. Sanchez goes with a right, tries to get a takedown, stuffed by Pitbull, coming in with lunging shots, missing on everything. It's not as exciting when you know who wins. Yeah. Ah, oh, super chat. Here we go. Skype me and shirtless then apologize for doubting. No, 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 no. Listen, we have a uh, we have things to do. <laughs> like not that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that. Here we go. Oh, combinations. Beautiful combinations by Pitbull. Pitbull chasing down Sanchez, sniffing blood in the water. Coming in with a right, a left lands. Sanchez comes in with a combination of his own. Hands up by Pitbull, blocking majority of the shots. 3-10 left in the third round. Is it a decision? I thought it was a finish. This might be a decision over here. 3-0-5 left in the fight. I know who wins. I just don't know. What I know rounds? how it ends. You do? You know how it ends. No, I, I don't. I don't. I know who wins, so uh, what I said a million times. I'm going for a P. Tell me I missed. Tell me I missed. Mr. Shanwick, you missed. I'm going to tell him <laughs> what he missed. Skype my cock and believe that's his hammer K. All right, both fighters exchanging again. A nice counter left comes in by Pitbull. Leg kicks by Emmanuel Sanchez. Third round of action. Main event of the evening. This fight happened already. Ref stops the fight again. I stop the clock. It looks like a mouthpiece falls out. Someone came out of the closet in the super chat. Choo choo, motherfuckers. <laughs> Man, you guys are great tonight. You guys stole the show. Making that MMA whore talk. Stealing the show is what the community does. So far, Duke, I got Pitbull. For sure. But Sanchez looking good in this round. I still give the edge to Pitbull. Nice leg kick, body shot, swiped away by Pitbull. But um, I do have Pitbull winning the fight. Sanchez looking good here. Right, misses by Sanchez. Pitbull dancing around. Nice left lands by Pitbull. Puts Sanchez off balance. And Sanchez eats a left and then a right to the face. Sanchez comes in with a skippity doo -dah leg kick. Pitbull returns the favor over top right. Sanchez misses with a head kick. Sanchez's face is a little cut up, a little swollen up, as Pitbull definitely did more damage. Nice right comes in by Sanchez. Head kick. Pitbull doing a lot of blocking. Everything that's coming in, he's blocking the punches, the kicks to the head. Very nice job defending his face. <clears throat> Tell that old man to donate more money as me. This is Nick Lyle. Well, Nick Lyle's going at it in there. Shit. What does the loser of the points game have to do again? Pulse the loser, which looks like myself, but I, I feel strong about this, has to face the chat roast. Or the chat roast. That's right. We're bringing back the chat roast again two weeks in a row. If I lose two weeks in a row. Oh, my God. A nice combination coming in by Pitbull. Lands on the face. Of Sanchez. Oh, a flying knee by Pitbull. 45 seconds left in a fight. Pitbull trying to finish strong here. Sanchez eats a right. Sanchez moving forward with 35 seconds left. Kick to the body by Sanchez. Another kick to the body by Sanchez. Pitbull trips out the leg in the middle of the cage inside the guard of Sanchez with 25 seconds left. Looking to finish in a dominant position. Looking to see a decision here, Jesse. Yep. 18, 17, 16 seconds left. Pitbull inside the guard of Sanchez to end the fight. And yeah, no finishes, Jesse. You knew that, huh? That's a little anticlimactic. Why are you making that face? You thought there was a finish, didn't you? You thought there was a finish? Yes. You did. No, that was a decision. Right? Or is this a five-round fight? Is it a five round? Oh, it's a championship fight. Shit. I didn't even know that. I fell asleep. It's a five rounder. So it isn't a decision. So does Pitbull win in the fourth round? Or does Sanchez win in the fourth round? Or do they win in the fifth round? Sanchez or Pitbull, Jesse? I'm trying to get you to which round? The fourth or the fifth? I'm going to ask you a question. You have to say yes or no. I think you popped a blood vessel in your eye. Yeah, it's, it's bloodshot, right? Which one? My right or left? Your right eye. Don't do that. Just Is it gone? 
No, it actually looks like you popped a blood vessel in your eye. You want to see it? Let's, let's show the chat. Let's see. Can they see it? What about now? Look to your right, your left. <laughs> well, they'll see it when they roast me. All right. I need help. With 30 seconds left, I mean 30 points on the board. I need help right now. If you're going to donate, say points to Mystic immediately. Uh, Pitbull says King's your mother's ring. Open carry in a single guru. Okay. Let, uh, let's start the, the clock. Synagogue. Yeah, what did you say? Synagogue. <laughs> it's a synagogue. <laughs> it's a synagogue. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to start the clock here and begin. No, it's a synagogue. <laughs> I'm tired. All right, here we go. Fourth round has begun. Jesse, call the rest of the fight. I need a drink of water. No, I'm good. What do you call the rest of the fight? How dare all right, you? all right, all right. Pitbull and Sanchez are going at it again. Ooh, a nice one two by Sanchez, followed by a nice head kick. A trip from uh, Sanchez. Pitbull is on his back. Sanchez is doing some work from the top. Side guard, side control, not side guard, side control. Uh, Pitbull is uh, defending some elbows to the chin from Sanchez. But Sanchez is. Ooh, Pitbull's trying to buck Sanchez off. Pitbull stands up, lifts Sanchez by one Damn. leg, and throws him onto his back. Are you ready? I'm ready. Call the rest. No, no. No, 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 no. Is Why? Okay? Call the rest. It's cool. Go. What, because I said damn? Yeah, you're ready. Go. <laughs> what? Come on, go. Why? Because I don't want to call this fight. Go. <laughs> you're so stubborn. Just call the call fight. Call the, the crowd wants it. <laughs> they want the reaction from JBH. <clears throat> Pitbull is on top. Full mount. Not a full I mouth. mean, in, in Sanchez's <laughs> guard. There's some nasty elbows. Some elbows from Probably Sanchez both. at the bottom. Uh, a lot of rights to Pitbull's head. Can you please call this fight? No. Come on. Wow. The elbows from Sanchez off the back. He's he's literally, I mean, he's carving up the top of the head. No warnings or anything like that. He's coming down. I mean, I guess it's not. that's not really a 12 to 6. But, I mean, where he's landing that, can you hit on the top of the head like that? I guess so. Pitbull still in the guard of Sanchez. As Sanchez is not making it easy off of his back. Elbows, elbows, elbows. JVH, JVH, look, internal is, is cheering you on. It says, don't interrupt. Say, look, they want you. By the way, shout out to Tiger Life Energy. Shout out to Tiger Life Energy. Where is it? Hold on. Thanks to one bed. For reminding us. Tiger Life Energy and Duplex Entertainment. Links in the description. This is the fight that we're watching over here. They're both back up on the feet. As Pitbull versus Sanchez is going down in the fourth round. A fight that was pre-recorded. We both know the outcome. Jesse knows what round. But I don't know. No, I know how. I know, oh. I know how it ends. I don't know what round. Oh. Yeah. So what the fuck? This is actually it's turning into a pretty good war between the two. Sanchez has not given up. His face is all mutilated, but he keeps walking forward. Eats an uppercut by Pitbull. Walking down, Patrizio Pitbull. Leg kick by Sanchez. Pitbull who, Pitbull, who is the champion, trying to keep his strap. Let's see if he gets it done. Speaking of elbows, what about that Yair versus Korean zombie finish? Is Jared Nipper? It was mesmerizing, right? Some may say, was that done on purpose? And I say, yes, sir. fantastically placed with a second left in the uh, fight. Korean zombie walks into a nasty one. Fight over. Fantastic stuff. Loved it. Tiger Life saved me once from jumping in front of a train. This is King's. Your mother's ring. Bellator is on till uh, 11.15, so must be in the fifth. This is Drunk Savage. Yeah, it's 11.01 over here on the East Coast. As we're in the fourth round, a lot of damage on the face of Sanchez. But he's still hanging in there. In a tough, grueling fight in the fourth round. It does. Even though this is, a, this is actually a pretty good fight between the two. It's just tough to get into it because we know the outcome. That that's the problem right here. Like 
Now, if we were, if we knew the out, I don't know, if we saw the fight and then we watched it again, it's it's not the same, right? When you watch a fight and then you rewatch it, yeah, because you know where you went with the fight, who you were picking, you were unbiased. In this one, we know who's gonna win, and it just it just deflates it. Pitbull going for a single leg stuff by Sanchez. Sanchez, thirty five seconds left in the fourth, and it does look like it's gonna go to a fifth. Uh, you need to value family gatherings over us. Says Brady for uh, what? <laughs> you think it's him? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Oh, that's a <coughs> Brady Ferguson. Is it? Brady, if that's you, I I'm very upset. I'm disappointed. I am disappointed. Uh, Primus, a badass band, or Primus is a badass band. I thought you were talking about Primus from uh, Bellator. Primus, my name is Mud. Yeah. All right, round is over. Fourth round is over. And that was a close one over there between the two. I'm still going to give it to Pitbull. I think Pitbull is like sweeping this fight. But yeah, Jess, what do we say in the chat? Nick Lyle says, real, real went to wash his dentures. Khabib Goat <laughs> says, Tiger Life was the cause of World War II. Salio 2 says to Jay Smooth, Vigo Stalcom will be the first in line to the gas chamber. Internal is unamused in the chat. Roberto says, yup. Kainoto 74 says, why known as Big Brown Beaver. Jared Nipper says, yeah, like when I watched Khabib versus Connor, I was nervous as fuck, but I missed it. Chris, you are your own boss. You are doing it right, brother, says Kevin Costa. Wonderful, wonderful. Boss Coger says, I think Nightbat bought constantly faps to JBH. It's true. He does. It's Shan, a true statement. Shan, what is laughing at drunk savage? Kainota74 says, Primus. One bad says, I wouldn't use Tiger Life for toilet water. Michael Anzalon says, I can't believe you got rid of the MMA mm. news song. The new one is great, but I love the other one more. Yeah, well, you got to get used to it, Michael. Change change is sometimes a good thing, you know? We heard the full rendition of Jesse the News, and we move on. Jesse! Rest in peace. News song. Read us the news. That's it. It's over. It's gone. Fifth round has begun of Pitbull versus Sanchez. And we are watching this fight as Sanchez looking to really pour it on here in the fifth round. He wants that belt bad. Pitbull does not want to give it up. Can't blame him. <laughs> Tiger Life is better than Flint, Michigan, Brownwater. Oh, Pitbull with the left. Stumble Sanchez. And goddamn, the combos are coming in. Wow, Sanchez got rocked. Thrown to the floor by Pitbull. Pitbull with an uppercut. A knee to the chest. Sanchez is holding on for dear life. He is fucked up. Pitbull is trying to get him off of him, going for a trip. Sanchez pushing Pitbull to the ground. Sanchez going for the neck of Pitbull. Pitbull reverses it, now goes to side control, and now Sanchez is in deep shit. Sanchez turtles up, and you see blood squirting out of his face. Pitbull looking for perhaps the neck of Sanchez with a hook in. Sanchez's face is all cut open. One thing you got to say about Emmanuel Sanchez is this dude's got some serious fucking heart. Serious heart. His face looks like fucking... Chop meat. Pitbull looks like he hasn't even been in a fight. Sanchez is trying to punch him with some rights. As Pitbull is patiently trying to go for the neck. Then neglects the neck. Knees to the ribs of Sanchez by Pitbull. Pitbull's got some serious cardio, huh? He's not really huffing and puffing. He's just waiting. Trying to pull out the legs of Sanchez. They're both against the fence. Sanchez has one hand down to avoid the knee to the head. Stands back up, upright. Pitbull puts an underhook there. See what they could do against the fence. Pitbull had him in some trouble. Sanchez looks like he Proper shook it 12. Up. Oh, shit. We got some Proper 12. Life on autopilot. Let's dance. Proper on this whiskey. Yes. Proper twelve. Ugh, why do you keep doing that? That's so disgusting. Consolation points to most. There we go. Ah, life on autopilot. Whew. Thank you for the points over there. Proper twelve. Got sixty in the books. We're gonna start the final minutes of the points game after this fight is done. Jesse's going to read some more news stories, and then the loser of the points game has to be roasted by the chat. 
Still have a chance, Jesse. Thank you, Life on Autopilot. Very generous over there. That's appreciate it. Horrible. <laughs> Tastes is good. Do you don't like my bloodshot eye? No, it's actually concerning a little bit. Why? What is wrong with my eye? Like you, you popped a blood vessel. It's, All right, I'm gonna go look. It's not bloodshot. Describe, describe the. It's. It's. You know, it's like when you have allergies and you feel it. Like I feel it. You should feel it because it looks like a. Uh, a minute and forty nine seconds left in oh, round five. Super chat. Super chat. I now know what you guys go through with live fight buddies. Yeah. Hours into commentating Invicta. My jaw is more sore when most has a night at the truck stop. Points JBH. That's right. WMMA makes it God now. damn it. Just get 10 points. That's right. WMMA makes <laughs> it now. It, it doesn't take long to learn that um, fight fight buddies is not, it's not an easy gig. Not an easy gig. Wow. Thank you for the 10 WMMA scene. Appreciate the points over there coming in. Strong, swole, sexy MMA hole over there. Yeah, it's not easy. It's not easy. My eye's fine. It's a, it's a blood vessel. It's fine. Jesus Christ. It's not easy to go four hours strong, sometimes five and a half hours of nonstop play-by-play -play when you're doing fight reactions. Now, with Bellator, we don't do it as dead on, but with the UFC, when the main card's going, we're, we're, we're there, you know? And it's 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 tough, you know, to, to keep the party, you know, try to keep it as upbeat and high energy as possible. Yeah. After one of these streams, where my voice is done. Jesse's got to like, she's got to nestle her mouth on my penis. It's really, it's <laughs> tough. It's, it's fucking tough. <laughs> what is the matter with you? What? That's remember after the fight, buddies. I'm like Jesse. My voice hurts. Zip. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, well, we draw the WMA scene. That's that's what you got to do. It always soothes the voice. 15 seconds left in the fifth round. And it's still going strong here, Jesse. I thought there was a finish. What happened? There is no finish in this fight. Pitbull showing the blood. Wow, Sanchez is like, come on, buddy, let's go. Sanchez looked like a fucking zombie. Superman punch. Pitbull backs up smart. You see what Pitbull did over there? Backing up at the end of the fight. He's like, fuck this. I'm just going to take the win. Now it does go to a decision. Who gets the decision? Who gets the decision? And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put on the clock. I'm going to put 10 minutes. That's it. Okay? I'm going to put 10 minutes on the clock, Jesse. <laughs> right now, it's 162 to 60. I have put 10 minutes on the clock. When these 10 minutes are up, the loser has to get roasted by the chat. The chat roast. Someone help a motherfucker out as I am down 60 to 162. I need a comeback here. One of the greatest comebacks of all time could happen within these 10 minutes, but only you can make it happen. Thank you to everyone that donated tonight. Let's find out the official decision for Patricio Pitbull versus Emmanuel Sanchez. Both fighters are putting their hands firmly in the air like they just don't care. I think Pitbull got the win. But I'm not saying why I think that. Jesse, who do you think won? Sanchez. <laughs> Wonderful. Man. All right. All right, chat. Let's get the official decision. <laughs> All right. You ready? Ready, right, Jesse? So ready. Get the scores. I want you to read out the scores when they say it. If you're new to this, give us a subscribe. We'll be live again tomorrow night for the UFC Fight Night, Ponzinibbio versus Magni. Let me know who you have in the chat. I'm going Neil Magni. Got a soft spot for the BBC. So I'm going Neil Magni. I never tap Khabib Goat. I stay in till the very last second. I tell you what, guys. Here no, we go. All joking aside, some crazier things have happened if you watch the earlier Fugo Fridays. It's a unanimous decision. 48, 46, 48, 47, 48, 47. Split decision. Oh, split. A split decision win and still Patricio Pitbull for the win. Emmanuel Sanchez looking upset about the decision. And that's that five-round war between the two. Emmanuel does not get it done. I mean, 
I, I believe Pitbull, they made the right choice. Even if it's a close fight, I think Ty goes to the champ. But you look at damage alone on Emmanuel Sanchez's face. Brutal stuff. Pitbull did a fantastic job getting the win. And yeah, what a war. That's it. 28-4-0. Patrizio Pitbull. All right, Jesse, this is what we're going to do. Seven minutes, 35 seconds left on the clock. Let's do it. Let's rattle through the rest of these news stories over here. All right. On the MMAholes.com. According to my MMA news, Paige Van Zandt praises genius Conor McGregor. There's no doubt the former UFC... Uh-oh. Nick. You can't stop this again, Express. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Thank you so much for the support, Jesse. I know you would understand my homosexuality. Much better than that hard-headed Chris. I love him though he's cute. We should hang sometime. <laughs> Girl and you dress me up and do my makeup and talk about Daniel Cormier. <laughs> so we know this is not Nick Lyle. <laughs> Can someone guess who this is? <laughs> All right. Jesse, get back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Over the years, oh, McGregor has become one of the biggest stars in all of sports. He has inspired a new generation of fighters, which involves a more brash style of promotion, such as trash talking. While not all might agree with the Irishman's promotional tactics. Hold on, Jesse. What? Does this mean Conor McGregor's fighting Paige Van Zandt? No. Yes, oh. While not all might agree with the Irishman's promotional tactics, some might consider him to be a genius. One of these, these fighters is UFC strawweight competitor Paige Van Zandt. Speaking to uh, Ballsy... Van, Jan Van Zandt puts over McGregor for making himself the biggest star the UFC has ever seen, saying, quote, With Connor, people have either mixed feelings, they either love him or they hate him, and that's why he's a genius, Paige Van Zandt said. He made himself notorious. There are a lot of UFC fighters who have made more w way more wins than him, but he was so intelligent, he was able to brand himself the way he did. He made the media work for him rather than, work than him work for the media. All right. What do you guys think in the chat about Paige Van Zandt versus the genius Conor McGregor? <laughs> All right. What else we got in the news, Jess? According to MMA Fighting, after being hit with a four-year ban, Cody McKenzie accuses Nevada's uh, commission official of sexual harassment. Who? Cody McKenzie. Who the fuck is Cody McKenzie? No this? idea. All right. Move on. We don't even know who this guy is. Fuck this guy. Okay. Fuck him and his sexual preferences and, uh, and harassment. WMMAC chef. with the donation coming in. You guys get Big John interviews. I get Senko. I win. Points, Whoa. MOS. Look at that. Look at that. Points to Moss over there and saying that he gets Laura Sanko interviews. Look at that. I got Dan Mergliata. <laughs> Look at that. Real, real. I mean, real, real. Hello. WMMA scene with the points. The comeback, Jesse. Holy shit. How pumped up are you to watch the greatest comeback in MMA holes history? 65 points to 162. We have a hundred dollar donation down below in the description, Jesse. One donation away to put you right into that chat room. Someone out there has got big pockets. Help the mystical one out as we go over to All right. Uh, according to the Bleacher Report, mm, UFC fighter Cynthia Cavillo struggles to stand at weigh-in one day before her fight. UFC fans who woke up for Friday's weigh-ins for an upcoming event in Argentina were treated to a scary but terribly familiar sight. Just 36 hours separated from her showdown with Pollyanna Botello, Cynthia Cavillo struggled physically to even make it to the scale. The strawweight contender was visibly unsteady as she moved across the stage, wavering on multiple occasions. This was followed by an announcement that she had missed weight, coming in at 118 pounds for a fight with a 116 pound limit and would have to forfeit 20% of her purse for the fight. All right, I didn't see this yet. I didn't get a chance to watch this. So let's watch it together. MMAfighting.com over here. Let's check it out. I didn't get to see this. Cynthia Cavillo hitting the scales. They're putting up the, uh, the old... I don't understand why they do this for the ladies, but they don't do this for the men. The men should get a curtain too. It's ridiculous. All right, Cynthia about to get cut from the UFC. Cancel the fight. Who cares? This is Brian Royger. Here we go. The curtain goes up. Imagine she just vanishes like, like a magician. All right. Here we go. The escort. Or Why didn't they put the curtain on the scale? Yeah. Wow. Why didn't they put the curtain on the scale? This, what the fuck? Yeah. What kind of stupidity is that? 
What the? What are they trying to do to her? Put the curtain. Like, couldn't they put it like on by this, like behind the scale, and then she just steps up? Why did they move it so far over? Wow, she is fucked up. They're trying to hold her up. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ! They're trying to hold her up over there. This poor. Oh my god! What is up with weight cutting? It's so ridiculous. A lot of beaver over there, Jesse. The one, the she blonde, almost, the blonde's she loving it. Off also. Wow, the blondes, uh, she's eating it up. Super chat. Real, real coming in. New Twitter pick from my fans. All right. So notice real, real. Islander pants. <laughs> uh, notice Islander pants. All right. So he Googled a picture of someone with their Islander pants on. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Jesse, what do you think about that? Thank you for the donation. Real, real. Two minutes left on the clock. 162 to 65. Can someone help in? A mystical one out right now. A dramatic win. Cynthia Cavillo. Why did you almost push me into the monitor? Um, because I'm... Um, what? No. I think I'm going to win, Jesse. I'm only... I'm under 100 points away from you. It's a very close game. 65-162. I am not afraid. Because you did Rap God before, I should win. That should be your punishment. Because I did Rap God. It was terrible. You real, real could have saved Chris with all his donations, but failed the community. This is Drunk Savage. Yep. Yeah. How dare he? Well, facts. Right now, I have a minute left, and it looks like the roast is coming in my direction unless there is a last-minute buzzer beater coming in. We'll be live tomorrow. Ponzinibbio versus Magni. A fight buddies. A delightful fight buddies. Jesse, yes. you stoked up about that? Yes. Where is that event? Hold on. Let me look over here. Yes. Where the fuck is it? I forgot where it was. Argentina. Argentina. Argentina? All right. <laughs> You we got Nick Lyle coming in. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Choo-choo, motherfuckers. Yeah. Points to Jesse. He he, you go, girl. Winking face. Girl power. Thanks to all the holes tonight for helping me come out. You thank guys you are great. Good is, night. Whoever's trolling Nick Lyle, thank you for the two points. Nick Lyle, thank you for the donation. Or whoever Nick Lyle actually is. <laughs> Jesse, 165. 265, it was a good effort, but let's be honest. Kevin Costa is the reason why you won once again. My boy! It's my boy! I love my boy! Thank you, Kevin Costa! My boy! Kevin Costa coming in very strong. Once again, thank you to all the donations tonight. Here is the chat roast. And once again... We need you, the MMA holes, to start roasting the mystical one. We will clip this and put this on Instagram at the MMA holes. We will put this on Instagram. Get ready to start this shite up right now, immediately. Start roasting. Get your name seen out on the internet as I put my face in. No mic. All right, so here's the deal. The music is over here. How am I going to... See, this is the problem when I control the whole fucking show. Uh, all right, so here we go. The chat roast is over here. We have to put the sound up. I'll do it. Don't worry. Okay, ready? Is everyone ready to roast? Immediately roast. We'll put this on uh, Instagram. Let me scoot up. Okay. I lost. Again. It was a good battle. But it's time for the roast. Roast... Begin. Yeah. It's Chat Roast. Chat Roast! In the 
Chat, we're gonna roast your face. We're gonna make fun of you all day. Stupid hair, stupid smile, chat roast. Fuck your feelings, it's time to hurt them, chat roast. A fucking chat roast. A fucking chat roast. Chat roast. Fuck your feelings. MMA holes about to ruin your day. Make you diarrhea from the horrible words. Fuck your feelings and your genitals. Fuga Friday up your ass. Fuga Friday in your eardrums. Fuga Friday. Chat roast. Fuga Friday. A fucking chat roast. Fuga Friday. A fucking chat roast. Fuga Friday. A fucking chat roast. Chat roast. The fucking chat roast. The fucking chat roast. Chat roast. <laughs> Hi guys. Don't be an a hole. Be an M M A hole.